We are live. And I wrote a recap for a second. I was like, did I write a recap? And then I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. Okay. So it's only been a few hours into the Witchlight Carnival, and our crew has banded together under unlikely terms. After paying a visit to Kettlesteam, Flubs' mother figure, it has been decided that the trio will adventure into the Feywild. But first, they need to figure out how to get there. A secret entrance is rumored to be hidden within the carnival, but they have yet to find it. On the way to the feasting orchard, Sorali becomes distracted once again and leads the gang towards the carousel, run by the shy centaur, Diana Cloppington. The carousel has looked better, and Diana admits that it could use a paint job. Diana gives the crew some paints, while Flub steals special gold paint out from under her. You're able to use the gold paint paint to write in the unicorn's faded names, and they magically animate into wondrous unicorns. They allow you to ride the carousel and tell each of you that you are allowed to ask three questions each. After you finish your ride with the unicorns, Diana Cloppington warns Greb in particular that they must be careful in the Feywild and that they will try and trick you. They will make deals that you do not understand. You guys finally make your way to the feasting orchard, which is full of merriment and laughter with tons of free sweets all around the tables. Greb tries to give one of the other Witchlight hands gold for the food, and he mistakenly thinks you're here to enter the custard cupcake eating contest. The three of you begrudgingly take a seat at the contest, and Greb is disqualified quickly by poorly sneaking cupcakes to, in the pot. She does help Flubs win by hurling a potion at the other two contestants that make them sick and ultimately allowing Flubs to win. Greb immediately asks Flubs to trade his cupcake of invisibility for a calming lozenge, and Flubs happily agrees. From the feasting orchard, you make your way to the Silver Song Lake. Flubs becomes enchanted by the giant pearl that sits in a large clam in the middle of the lake, and he jumps into the water and swims over while Sorali and Greb argue on the shore. Flubs meets Palasha, the scorned mermaid who was meant to be engaged to Candlefoot, but he lost his voice in the middle of the proposal. Eventually, Sorali and Greb catch up via Swan, and Sorali tells Palasha that they will help get the mime's voice back, and Greb and Flubs agree once Palasha offers them pearls. The Swan is named Featherine, and she takes you on an unnecessarily long boat ride around the carnival and lets you off the ride early due to irritation at your lack of manners. You make your way to the Hall of Illusions and message Candlefoot, who responds to the message that no med medicinal magic has been able to bring his voice back. However, you do vaguely recognize the Southern Draw as the same one that Kettlesteam has. You hurry back over to Kettlesteam, who reluctantly agrees to give Candlefoot his voice back. However, Kettlesteam becomes angry when she realizes that Greb traded Flubs for his prize and stole her and steals her voice for a few minutes as a warning. When Flubs returns from thoroughly packing up his tent, she reminds him of the woman in the dark forest they visited when he was very young and her memorable house. You return Candlefoot's voice to him, and he immediately runs off to propose to Palasha. She, of course, says yes, and is so grateful to the party that she rewards them with a bag of mermaid scales and pearls. And that is where we are now. Here's the question. Did I write <laughs> down how many pearls I got? Oh, I think I did actually. So Rally Mine? took four, and I took four, and there were like. 30 you have twenty nine mark. You have twenty nine pearls. Who I did not, so I will now. Okay. Also, you have yeah, nineteen corn dogs and three dozen. I, I wrote those down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I also wrote those down. <laughs> That's corn dogs important. were more important. Yeah. I wrote the important parts. Yeah, obviously. Is it 29? 29. 29, yep. And then uh, Greb so nicely we're... asked for the mermaid scales. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, these are kind of gross and you're being weird, so yeah. <laughs> sure! So we're at the Silver Song Lake, yep. and Candlefoot and. Are they making out again? They're singing. They're, oh, they're, they're, yeah, they're they're having a beautiful duet, and everyone is, and with the with the swans who are like, you know, doing a choreographed water ballet. It's very enchanting. Ooh. Are, are That's we like? Impressive. Are we backstage? No, you guys are like in the crowd. Oh, okay, okay. 
I think I'm gonna walk like a little bit away from the crowd and like just sit down on the grass and like stare at the scales. Kind of like stare off, like has a thousand yard <laughs> stare, just thinking. <laughs> I'm just baffled by the swans doing their monkey <laughs> like, wow, that's really impressive. I definitely can't do that. I, I don't think I can do that either. I don't know, you're a pretty good swimmer. I am. I've, I've never tried to dance in water though. That, I, I feel like that'd be hard. I bet you could do it though. If you Thanks. wanted to. Welcome. Where'd Grub go? I I'm assuming. <laughs> assuming I eventually spot Grub. There's so many people. I can't really see. You're tall. Uh -huh. Here, get, get, up, get up on my shoulders, and I put <laughs> my gloves on my shoulders. So cute. <laughs> I, will, I will look around to see if I see any goblins. Yeah, Grub and Flubs. Make me a perception check. I realize I'm not great at perception checks. <laughs> Do it anyways. <laughs> it's okay. Commit to the bit! Uh, it just gives them a better view of the <laughs> dancing swan. That's fine. Okay. Be a total of six. Okay. Yes! Nice what the new dice? Yeah. <laughs> That's with the flubs dies? That's with the flubs dies. Oh no! <laughs> it's, it's still fine, it's fine. I was expecting a bad I roll. I should have bathed them in moonlight before I sent them to you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Logically. <laughs> uh, flubs, you look around and... Gosh, the... Honestly, the carnival's so magical. Everyone with their beautiful wings and all the children and like the bubbles and the dragon vines in the sky. It's it's honestly hard to even remember what you were looking at because every new thing is more memorizing mesmerizing than the last. Correct. Cool. <laughs> you you get that sensation. Like on the back of your neck a little bit. Just like, of unease. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> just like more and more terrified as I just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the swans. So. I'm just like clutching pot, kind of like rocking back and forth a little bit, like kind of stimming. Traumatized, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, the trauma had just begun too. <laughs> um, episode three. <laughs> you you rock back and forth, like really trying to comfort yourself. You're probably like whispering the pot a little bit. And just like the that feeling of like someone watching you and un, and general unease like doesn't leave you for a good while. And eventually, flubs you do spot pot like who's sitting on like kind of off to the side on the grass, just like thousand yard stare, eyes really wide. It, they're magnified by her big oh. glasses and she's just like cradling pot like rocking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna um, like pat Sorelli's horn and be like, go that way. I go in the direction that Flubs tells me. I suppose he pointed towards Greb. You didn't, you don't have to, you just, you just tell Sorelli go in a certain direction, you could have gone in a completely different direction, Sorelli wouldn't know. Going in the water. <laughs> Time to sure, swim. why not? Greb, you see, uh, Sorelli carrying flubs on her shoulders, and it's, and it's, it's kind of adorable. <laughs> I think... <Hi. laughs> 
I think Greb's the type of person who, like, in an emergency, she'll kind of, like, panic a little bit, but mm-hmm. then, like, after things have sort of subsided, she, like, kind of considers what happened and, like, has time to actually think about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Goes philosophical. Yeah. You do you do the breathing exercises that your therapist taught you. <laughs> 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 Gub's mom paid for therapy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's a good I thing ha- she's got that nerve calming potion. <laughs> yeah. I have to imagine Greb was like not that popular in school. <laughs> oh yeah. She got bullied a lot. She got probably. bullied a lot. <laughs> so you know, mom had to pay for therapy. <laughs> yeah. As it goes. <laughs> Are you okay? Greg, what's uh, wrong? Uh, well... I'm fine. Do I believe her? <laughs> um, no. I think Bob's gonna make an inside check. Sorali, <laughs> uh, you immediately are like, she's not fine. Flubs, you have to make an inside can check. Can I? Can I make a deception check? Hey, yep, yep. Sure. If you want to make a deception check, you go for it. I want to try. I've got a minus two, but I want to try. <laughs> Ooh, it was a good roll. I got a four. <laughs> okay, yeah. Grub's not hiding Fifteen very well. minus one. Hey! Um. I'll, I'll throw, I, don't think I got an eleven <laughs> for my insight. <laughs> I know you said that I automatically knew, but I wanted to roll. Something yeah, yeah. yeah. Greg's having a a bad Bird. time in the it rocking back and forth. You guys are like, oh, something's up. The, the... Are you sure? Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh. What did you want to do next? You know, the whole rocking thing kind of takes away from you saying that you're fine. Oh, I do this all the time. Yeah, it's totally normal for me. I believe that. Okay. (laughs) Based on my... I think I keep, like, I I keep glancing at flubs and then, like, looking away and then, like, looking at flubs (laughs) and then looking away. (laughs) You've become very paranoid. <laughs> okay, what do you guys want to do next? Where are we going? Where should we check out? We it's should check out the you. snail racing. Okay. Uh, that sounds fun. <laughs> Let's check out the snail racing. Yeah, sure. It's <laughs> that way. <laughs> Um, I flub still on my shoulders. I can, I start walking towards the snail. <laughs> do, do, do you want a corn dog? <laughs> I'm not very hungry. Oh. Okay. I'm fine. It's okay. And I'm just gonna kind of like keep a little bit of a distance too. between them. Like I'm following behind, but like a few steps back. <laughs> I, I kind of glance up at Flub. I feel like I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong? I, I don't know. Well, you know, I'm kind of on your shoulders, so it's kind of hard to tell if she's looking at you or she's looking at me. But she kept looking That's at both it. of us. But you're a lot taller on my shoulders. I am. I can see so much. <laughs> That's the point. She's so cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I would die for flubs. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, I kind of bounce along, and I, I'll glance back every now and then to make sure Greb is following, even though it's at a distance. Greb still kind of has that like thousand mile stare, like. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Kind of mm-hmm. still just like clutching pot <laughs> with like a mm-hmm. pretty tight grip. Mm-hmm. Still kind of looking every now and then at clubs. 
maybe she has the skills in, in her pot thing, and maybe she doesn't want anyone to steal them. Who would want to steal those scales? And, and that's why she's looking at me, because she thinks I'm going to steal them. Are you going to steal them? No! I know you gave them to her, I didn't think you were going to steal them back. That would be a little no. silly, because then you would have just hit them. They're all gross and slimy, I, I, don't, uh, I don't like those. That's fair. They did look kind of slimy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> would you I catch them? They, they were like, yeah. Yeah, now I'm really glad I didn't touch them. Sounds yeah. gross. No. No. Um, is there an ice cream stand along the way? I gotta know. Oh yeah, of course. Ice cream. I would like to stop the ice cream stand on the way to the stand race. Let's leave uh, it. You see that there is a uh like kind of an older halfling woman. Um she has uh like beautiful like strawberry blonde hair, just slightly streaked with gray. Um she wears like very fancy large spectacles um that have like little like um uh jingly gems like hanging off the side of them and she has like a big Ooh. smile you can see that like one of the teeth like she her smile so big that like you can just see that like in the back one of the teeth is missing um but it's kind of charming <laughs> um and uh you guys go up to her you, you wait in a, in a small line and she goes okay darlings um what can i get you then what do you have Oh, well, we have strawberry, and we have lemon, and we have vanilla, mm. and chocolate, mint chip, and cookie mm. dough, and birthday cake, and uh, custard. Uh, and she just, she names, like, every flavor, <laughs> and she just keeps going on. La Yes. <laughs> can, 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 I a can I have a strawberry and... One scoop of strawberry and one scoop of birthday cake. Of course, darling. And uh, she she goes, oh, that'll be love. One one silver, please. Flops, what do you want? I don't know. Everything looks so good. I'll get you one. What's your? Uh huh. Thanks. Ah uh, ah, uh, birthday cake then. You want the birthday cake? Okay, one birthday cake. And for you, my dear. I'm, I'm fine. No, thank you. Oh, nonsense. Everyone loves ice cream. You really look like you could use some. You have a bit of a frown, actually. I'm not very hungry. I'm oh, fine. Well, maybe you just want to sample one of the flavors. Just I would take a little bit. sample, I guess. Could I have a um, butter pecan if you have any? Oh, certainly. That's one of my favorite flavors. And she gives you like, like kind of like one of those like sm like a small cup of it, and just like winks at you. She's very nice. Thank you. Oh, Here. Wonderful. And I'll just slide her a silver. <laughs> oh, that is so generous of you, darling. You sure I can't get you a cone? No, it's all right. Okay. Well. Very well then. Finish a code. And she hands two <laughs> giant ice creams to Flub and Sir Holly. They're like, they are like cartoonishly long. Yes. Yeah. Like swirls that are yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> piled all the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the ice cream will fill in the cracks from the cupcake. Um, um, um. As you guys. What uh, cracks? <laughs> you gotta make room in your stomach! Oh, those are the ones. Oh. <laughs> There's uh, always room for ice cream. Exactly! That's what mom says. That's, that's, that's words I live by, you guys. For... <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys notice as you are walking, like, it's, it's kind of, it's like not a long, long walk, but it's a bit of a trot. And you guys notice that the ice cream doesn't melt the entire way. So it's like enchanted to be continuously cold and not melty. That's amazing. That's what I want I in this world. I need that in real life. Yes, I need that in real life. 
I think instead of eating it, I'm gonna like put it in pot to like study later. <laughs> okay. You see with pot... mermaid scales? <laughs> yeah, the acid. <laughs> no, the mermaid scales are in the backpack. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Gotcha, 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 you see the gotcha. you see the 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 contents of pot like change a color change color. It was green. Now it's like kind of a blue. Pot's always changing. Pot's always changing. Never know what's inside. <laughs> I was getting, I was concerned that you were playing the mermaid scales, and I was like, man, the smell of pot is gonna be yeah. rank. No. Rank, yo. No, she'd want to keep the mermaid scales like separate and safe with all the, her other ingredients. She would put them in the backpack. Which I actually like went through <laughs> and separated. Like all of my potions and like ingredients from my oh, pack versus equipment. So nice to look at now. <laughs> That's very grab of you. Anyways. Very, very grab like. Yeah. <laughs> very Thank grab -like. You. Yes, I like to be very organized. <laughs> um, so as you guys make it to the snail races, uh, the snail races. Much like the feasting orchard in the Big Top show, it's one of the larger draws of the carnival, and you guys see that, like, the crowd is crazy over by uh, the snail Ooh. races. Um, let me also put this picture in here for you guys. A picture? I know. That's the beauty I, of using the This snail better be so fucking cute. <laughs> I, I, I'm imagining, um, besides the fact that Flubs with his giant container on top of, probably put it on yeah. Sorali's head. It's pretty tall. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's right, like right using your horns. Her, right yeah. in between her horns. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was imagining like from... a cone, like one of those cones. Yeah, I was imagining got, like, a cone as well. Pile. Mm, yeah. 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 yeah, it could yeah. be a cone too. <laughs> put the point right on the, on the yeah. Sorali's horns. <laughs> Waffle cone. Mm -hmm. Waffle cone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the best so, kind of cone. So, you guys see that wow. these are not... Those are huge snails. Yeah, they're not regular snails. These are largely large wow. snails. And they are going fast. Not like regular garden snails. Um, it's the equivalent yeah. of horse racing. Uh, in the carnival. Mm -hmm. And the crowd is like going crazy. And uh, you hear as like, uh, as you guys enter, like one race ends and you hear a bell and uh, a thaumaturgy voice over, over the uh, speakers. Next race, 15 minutes. Participants step right up. Uh, Greb, you know. Greb! Go ahead, go ahead, Sorelli. You should participate. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of snow? It's weird. This is the most quiet you've ever heard, Greb. <laughs> just still looking very nervous and, like, still just kind of keeps looking at clubs. <laughs> She's also looking in the direction towards Kettlestein as well, since we're <laughs> pretty close to that area. <laughs> so. Literally, Sorali saw the snails on the way back to the lake and was like, let's go see the snails <laughs> yeah, next. That's literally the thought process. has nothing to do with yeah. anything else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's I doing that the glance flubs, kettle scene flubs. <laughs> <laughs> Grab's uh, probably hanging back a little bit more towards the Hall of Illusions. Like, gotcha. Not wanting to get too close. <laughs> Be near Tasha. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Tasha will keep me safe. I'll protect her. Plum, you can see, like, you, just in the distance, like, your mom, like, cooking outside, like, kind of, like, jollily humming to herself, and you're just like, that's my mom. Um, oh. I'm, gonna, and, I'm gonna wave, even though she, she's not looking at me. She, yeah, she's not looking I'm at you, but, but you wave anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you guys, I'm like... Go, like, look at the snails a little bit. You see that they are, like, 
kind of like cornered off to the side and that there's they have like pixie uh like a pixie crew who comes over and starts like shining their shell and like scrubbing them down and like making sure that they're moist and like um you notice that each of the snails also (laughs) has a particular color that they're adorned with they've got a pit crew (laughs) They got a pit crew. <laughs> <laughs> they got a pit crew. That's, That's awesome. That's so amazing. They're like misting them with water. <laughs> yeah. Waxing their feet. Yeah. And you see, and you see the pixies Piece like lettuce. There's like hordes of them, and they all have like goggles on, like serious business pixies. <laughs> um, and you see that a couple of people uh have like gone up to uh the small gnome who like had his voice thaumaturgied, and uh, you can see that they're, like, punching his tickets to enter the snail race, and, like, the snail race is open for whoever. Depends. How how close am I with my ice cream? I need to know priorities. Um, ice cream. you're probably, like, it you could, it yeah, you could, you could, you could, <laughs> fini- you could finish it with a quickness and sign up for the race. No problemo. Should we sign up, Flubs? It looks like fun. They're really big. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I could do it. I bet you can do it. Yeah? Yeah! Okay. Let's do it. Okay. I quickly finish my ice cream cone. And then a little bit of I go off to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like spicy things more than ice cream, but sometimes you just need ice cream. Anyways, let's we we head up to the gentleman who did the thaumaturgy. Mm-hmm. We'd like to sign up, please. Okay. Well, ticket. I hand him my ticket. He clips uh, it. Uh. <laughs> he looks at he looks at Fluffs and he goes, "Well, ticket." Uh, I I changed my mind. Why, Fluffs? Because I I don't want to be grabbed on. Just just go over there. Okay. I'll, I'll keep her company. You you do the ride. I'll I'll okay. run up and be like. Uh, he could go with my employee discount, and I'll just like hold up a thing for them. Yeah. To punch. <laughs> uh, he like Here you go. he looks at you and he's like, oh, puppy, <laughs> took the guy down from the med shop, huh? Yes. Oh. Yeah, well, you uh, look a little down, sweetheart. Died off. I applied. I don't know why people keep saying that. I applied. Sure? This is how I always look. You're, you're re- you're yeah. really, you really sound like you're about to cry. Listen, sweetheart. You know what I, I think? I, you know what I think really solves everything? <laughs> a little bit of adrenaline. Listen, you should enter with your little. No, I don't think. It's so fun. Have you ever done this before? You know. It's a fantastic I don't, time. I don't think. <laughs> No, I'm fine. That's, oh, nonsense. That's right. Come um, on. I'll show. I'll, I'll make sure you get a great really, snail. Really, I don't think. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think. The prize right. is phenomenal. You're gonna I, love it. <laughs> right up your alley. What's the prize? <laughs> Girl, I don't think you're gonna get out of this again. Oh, <laughs> uh, what, wait. What's the prize? What? What do you get for winning this? Oh, you get a magic wand, and you uh, get also you also get a fancy potion. <gasps> oh, that's it. Um, <laughs> well, um, I'm definitely in now. The wand sounds cool. I mean, it's not that good. So you can have your own little club. No, 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 it's fine. You, you have it. It's okay. He's, he's, he's like, it's no, escorting you all it. of you over to the snails. <laughs> <laughs> just like a herd, like a gaggle. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And he's like, hurting us. He's like, grab. Snails. They're, they're amazing. Have you ever petted one before? They are kind of, kind of wet. But it's, I think they're nice. Look. And he like pets one. And the, like, you know how like the snails, like their eyes like can go up and down. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need each of you to roll a d8 and let me know if any of you get the same number. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, the title of this episode is gonna be All You Need Is a Little Adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> you right up. I got a three. Okay, three for grab. One. Seven. Okay. <laughs> One. <laughs> it's not that one. Because it was just a random roll. Uh, it's another d20. So he's like got his arm like around Greb. He's about her height, to be honest, <laughs> since he's also a gnome. And he goes, Greb, you're going to love this one. This one here, right here. And he pulls you over to a, oh. uh, like, a purple adorned one. It has like, oh. it's it's kind of fancy. And you can see the snail, Ooh. like, it's, <laughs> it's, he, he's like posing a little bit. He's like, mm, mm. Um, and he's, he's like, this one here, <laughs> <laughs> this one here, we call him High Roll. Hi, high Roll? High Road. High ro Road? Road? Yeah, road. like, you know. Hi. I you always take the high road. Oh. Okay. I'm an old He's a good lad. You'll love him. And he like shoves you towards him. What do I... <laughs> Wait, what do I do? <laughs> Here's a show. You can pet him. <laughs> I like go to reach out and then I'm like, nah. <laughs> The secretions from snails is important for potions. I mean, maybe, but I don't think I, I could get maybe. enough just from petting it, though. I would need, like, quite a lot more than, than just from... Maybe. I'm just yeah. saying, if you're we going to get on the snail... Yeah... Okay. <laughs> you see, the pit crew has like shined his shell so much that like he almost has like an iridescent purple. And you see that high road has like a. Can I do like press Can I do press digitation on it? Yeah, and it, totally. it has like little sparkles. Yes. yes. You see like pink sparkles, like appear near high road. It's like one of those iridescent like fossil shells that you yes, see. Yes, exactly like that. that. Are, like opal. And he has a very dedicated fan base. You see that there's like all these like purple clad like uh, uh, people in the crowd who are just like screaming and like throwing purple like flowers towards him. And he's like, he is a very sassy snail. He's like loving it, loving it, work. <laughs> I mean, you have to. It's purple like me. You have to, Grab. <laughs> begrudgingly get on the snail looking super nervous and still looking in the direction of Kettle Steam and Fluff. <laughs> Good luck! Alright! All right. Uh, All right. Yeah. Um, tell tell Tiefli, what's your name, sweetheart? Oh, I'm uh, Sorali. Okay, I think you're really gonna like this one. And he brings you over to a slightly smaller than the other ones, but a uh, okay. But her shell is like this perfect, like pink shade, and even her oh. like even her skin is like kind of pinkish. And he goes, "This one here, Shelly move." Shelly Shelly move. I love her so much already! I go immediately up to her and start petting her. Oh, she's an absolute doll face. Uh, oh, she's so cute! You see that she, like, does the equivalent of, like, licks you, and she just, like, puts her eye stock, like, all along you, <gasps> leaves a trail of slime. Oh, I don't care! She's so precious! Uh, you look over to the stands where, like, you see that Shelly Moo's biggest fans are, like, a lot of young 
young girls. And you also see that in the gift shop that Shelly Moo sells like goddamn hotcakes. <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. Uh, and then he's like, all right, get out. Come on over here. I got, I got, listen, I got a perfect one for you. And he brings you over. Uh, he brings you over to one. Thank you. That is like a one that is sort of like, it's a little bit more, uh, uh, spirited than some of the other snails. And he's kind of, you know, doing the thing where he's like, <laughs> like if he was a horse, he'd be like clomping in place, you know, da, da, da. and he goes, this one here, kiddo. Oh, this one we call okay. breakneck. And you see that he's adorned with like beautiful crimson red, uh, uh, like dressings and that a lot you also look to the crowd and you see a ton of people are like betting on breakneck and he goes matches your color kid it's perfect for you ah he is a little wild oh, but i think you'll do fine uh -huh. kid and he like gives you a boost up <laughs> oh <laughs> um, breakneck is like big like show. he's like he's like a he's like one of the bigger ones um, and he gives you, I like... I Sorali is on the smaller one yeah. and Flubs is on the bigger one. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and, um... You see that, He's like... He's on the big one. <laughs> uh, he doesn't, like, buck you off or anything, but he gives you, like, a little, like, wiggle, like, to just kind of see you out. Kind of I'll, I'll, I'll stabilize yeah, to the yeah. firm footing, sort of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he he's sort of a, a like chomping at his bit kind of deal. They all have like reins on them, oh. and you can you can just you could feel he's ready to fucking go. Um. So yes, those are your guys' snails. Um. And yeah, idiot. You yeah. You see, <laughs> That was that was a very fun role for for you guys. I didn't plan on the colors to happen, but here they are. Um, so cute. So cute. So you see the uh, at, at, after a while, like you guys spend like a minute or two with your with your snails, and um, they're obviously like trained to have different riders and stuff. So they seem steady. Greb, you like. You take a couple breaths and like you look over to the crowd and the crowd is going like hog wild for you. The crowd is like, whoa! Yeah! Get him, high road! Yeah, this is it. just making Greb feel even more nervous. <laughs> like oh, no. <laughs> The pressure. <laughs> um Sorali, you look at the crowd and like you see little girls in all kinds of different colors in their robes, bows in their hair with giant lollipops, and like, you're just like, aww. Shalot would love this. Yeah. Shalot would love this so much. Uh, Flubs, you're getting kind of excited. Uh, Breakneck mm -hmm. is, it looks like he's gonna go fast. And also, it just looks like there's like a lot of gold on you. <laughs> You 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 can see mm. when people are betting, and you're like, ooh. ooh. Mm. Grab is not lying when she said there was illegal betting going on. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I uh, love it. So finally, after like some last minute shining and misting on the on the snails, uh, you uh, you guys hear the gnome once again be like, all right. All riders to the starting line, and you, you, the snails immediately are like, boom, and they go pretty quickly to the starting line, and they start, you know, bouncing up and down. Ooh. The crowd is ecstatic, just going absolute crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is my bookworm, by the way. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> 
I was holding on to him like he was pot, but he be- he's become the snail. <laughs> he's become high road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So you guys hear a horn, and then you hear the crowd go one, two, three, and the crack of like a gun goes off, and your snails just immediately are like vroom, <laughs> and they start going. Uh, <laughs> it is it is uh, six rounds, so they have to go around six times. So, go ahead Ooh. and make me an animal handling check, you guys. Oh no! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 is this a time where I can do guidance on at least myself? They're not in the negatives, at least. Uh, oh, speak for yourself. Um, yeah, I <laughs> would say so, y'all. Whoa. <laughs> Nat 20 for grub? Dirty. 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 Oh my god! For that 20 for flubs! Oh, what? Ah! Wow! 17! <laughs> Bring it Just up to the rear. Fair, 17? Okay. A dirty 19. Okay, dirty 19. Okay, dirty okay, 19. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay. what did Sorelli get? A 17. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're doing good. <laughs> yeah, damn. Um, with the Sorali dice. Mhm. Sorali okay. dice is being used. Eighty plus. First okay, math, three. math. Math some is of, hard. Some of the rules on the in the modules, I'm like, what crack is this <laughs> happening? How do you add numbers again? What in tarnation? What in tarnation? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you guys see that all three of your snails like pull forward, like right ahead of the group, and you guys are basically, um, you guys see that uh, Breakneck is in the lead, um, followed by High Road, and then followed by Shelly Moo. Uh, let me just write that down. <laughs> um, Flubs, you've never gone so fast in your entire life, and it is yeah. thrilling. And you start getting into it. You're, you're also, you are standing. <laughs> like everyone else can like actually ride. <laughs> he would be standing. Everyone else can like actually ride. And you're surfing. full, just like windsurfing yeah. on this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely, when the turn comes up, he definitely, like, full-on goes to the side of the snail. Oh, like, mm-hmm. he's the, the momentum. Full chariot, yeah. Yeah. Um, physics. You guys, uh, <laughs> you guys hear, uh, the Shelly Moo and High Road, uh, like, patrons are, like, screaming encouragement, and, uh, but Breakneck is ahead of you guys. So, you guys round for the second round. Go ahead and roll another animal handling check. I got another dirty 20! Wow. Whoa! Rolled an 18 plus 2. <laughs> Again! I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 14. Okay. Hey! I got a dirty one. Okay. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, dirty one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> At least it wasn't a nap one. It's yeah. true. Do you have like a minus goes- two? I have a minus one. I'm oh, having flashbacks to Alexandria yeah. Unlimited with that Mercer. With all of his... Okay. Okay. Um, it's hilarious. Bro. You guys... You guys... Uh, I can fall off. It's fine. Yeah, you, you guys... Um, uh, like, at, all of a sudden, Breakneck, no longer in front of you. Like, he... Ah! <laughs> you guys... Pull ahead of him <laughs> wildly on the turn, <laughs> and um, flubs. Go ahead and um, 
<laughs> Flubs, you you feel like something something like soaring through the air and you like whip your head and like just like a full thing of lettuce like hits breakneck in the face and like breakneck for a second oh. is like ooh snacks like and he just pauses just long enough to be like ooh um <laughs> you're like jumping up no, and down forward. <laughs> Uh, so funny. Um, oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> Greb is holding on for dear life and is somehow in the lead. And you can just hear her being like, Aah! And Sorelli's like, go, Greb, you got this! You can do it! Flubs, where'd you go? <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Shirelli is just happy because she's not a pink snail, I'm not gonna lie. Like, she doesn't care if she wins or loses. I'm not a freaking pink snail, this is awesome. <laughs> it's the SpongeBob episode where- Oh, one of the competitors tries to get in the lead. I've got a thing I can do. <laughs> okay. You're gonna cheat, cool. <laughs> yes! Okay. Fish is mockery now, all the way. Oh, no! Just ahead. Um... <laughs> so, There's a verbal component. So Breakneck finally punches down the lettuce, and he's like, "All right, coming back around, coming back around." And he and you start, you're like, "Come on, Breakneck!" And you hear a lot of yelling from the stands. They're like, "Boo! Foul play!" Um, the uh, I'm fully yeah, imagining. Yeah, who threw the lettuce? Did it come from the crowd? <laughs> it came from the crowd. Yeah. Oh. Uh, fully the Spongebob scene where, like, they're racing the snails and then Patrick's like, it's okay, yes. you go on your time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <sighs> okay. Another animal handling check. Uh, okay. And Flubs, uh, just to be sure, like, pull out a corn dog and be like, no more let us eat this if it is empty. As you wave it in front of the <laughs> snail's face, he's Ew. like, oh. And he starts, Twinsies. like, he starts Twinsies. galloping. He starts going. <laughs> okay. 17! Okay. 17! 17's 12! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a middling roll, okay? No, you don't know what the DC it's is. Better than average. average. Yeah. yeah. You don't know how I'm calculating this math I just right now. I get back into the group. Twelve, you know? out, twelve out of twenty yeah. isn't too bad. Yeah. No. Well, thirteen. Thirteen <laughs> minus, minus one. Thirteen minus one. Oh, so still not bad. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, uh, flubs. Breakneck's gonna get back into the group. He lost his group. That's you're all. You're worried about Breakneck. You, uh, he, he, he truly has not recovered from that slowdown. <laughs> you, uh, he's digesting now. Yeah, like, he's, he's getting a little slow, like, he still wants the corn dog really badly, but, like, yeah. he's yeah. also, like, a little slower than he was, and you hear a lot of angry voices from the stands. Ah! Uh -oh. Um. Another animal handling check. Another animal handling check. Another animal handling check. Another. Another one. Not twenty. Let's go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Ugh, Fourteen. <laughs> okay. Plus twenty-one for me. That's a two. Oh jeez! Oh, no. <laughs> Started off so strong, Flubs. Yeah, I mean that was that was the outlier, though. Like you have to understand. <laughs> that was. Ew. I think that was my first nat twenty this whole game so far. Oh. Really? Um, I think so. You see? I don't know if I've rolled nat twenty yet. You see, Shelly no, starts have. to pull forward, like slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. <laughs> As Rebel has 
<laughs> You're doing so good! <laughs> <laughs> you hear a I lot think of little girls. my words girls. of encouragement are working. You hear a lot of little girls in the distance, like, screaming. I do a little precipitation around myself as I start pulling ahead. It's a little sparkle. Pink sparkles and I hope this also makes Yes! I'm assuming that even allows little girls go like, You guys, it's so pretty! Yeah. <laughs> ah, so fluffy! <laughs> It's not cheating, um, it's just sparkles. Yeah, it's just sparkles. It's just dramatic flair. As you, like, dramatic pass, flare. like, the, yes. the, uh, the gift shop, you see, you see just a really, really frazzled, um, like, woman, like, selling so many Shelly Moo stuffies. And she, yes. she, she looks like she's, like, on the verge of a nervous breakdown, and she just, like, people are just throwing gold at her as they buy up the Shelly Moose. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Last one? Last one. <laughs> Is this the last one? Oh, no. no. Last one! You have two more, yeah, actually. Sorry. Or two, two, more. More. two okay. more. Two more. Okay. Two more. Two more. I have. I remembered. Check. I did roll a nat twenty when I was doing the like info check on the Zabilla. Oh yes, yes. You did. that was the best nat twenty. You yeah. Grab has rolled two clutch ass <laughs> nat twenties in this. Hell yeah. Let's go. Cool. I got sixteen. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. I rolled a 19 for a 21. <laughs> 9 for an 8. <laughs> Breakneck's not two. doing so hot. Yeah. Breakneck is. Why aren't you going <laughs> I'm assuming Sorali and Greb at this point are like neck and neck. <laughs> you, you, see, yeah, it's like high road. Shelly Moo. High road, Shelly Moo. High road, Shelly Moo. And... You got this, bro! You got this! You're doing so good! Ah! Breakneck what is... What is Fluff doing with Breakneck? I need to know! <laughs> is he just crawling after the corn dog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he got one out to pass it, like a bunch of other ones fell to the road and like. <laughs> I'm imagining Flubs has like a fishing rod with like a corn dog on the end. Yeah, yeah. go faster. <laughs> that's not canon. That can't not be happening. That has to be happening. That, that's definitely as, happening. As grabs that are passing, we're like, what? <laughs> Where did he get, get, get a fishing rod? Don't think we got the gift shop came back. <laughs> you add a fishing rod to my inventory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he found it in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. God. Okay. And go ahead and make your guys' no, final check. <laughs> Break, I'm sorry, uh, the Flubs, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think you win. Oh, no, I, I, yeah. Fully, like, the reins are all the way up by, like, his stocks. He's forgotten them. One, he muted. 21, 21. Oh, 21. There we go, there. Yeah, my mic's, my mic is Okay, okay. Gotcha. Stand. Grab what'd you get? Uh, 14. Okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> if you are curious, it's another dirty one. But it doesn't oh, matter. No! <laughs> oh man! He started off so strong. He did. Oh, he strong. Are you using the flub dice the whole time? I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, Honestly, now it's I feel so bad. Funny. It's no. so funny though. Um. You, Flubs never recovered from that lettuce head, and even though he, no. he, you now see Flubs has, like, been trying to get Breakneck to get back up, 
with with the corn dogs, but every once in a while you see Breakneck does get the corn dog and he's like eating it and then he has to like pull out another corn dog and like feed it to him. And he's just like, he's like getting a little sluggish. He's you know He's yeah, digest all that. Yeah, he's and you, you all hear the you hear so much yelling from the stands. Um Escar stop instead mm-hmm. of Escar go. <laughs> <Put them. Ooh>. Um <laughs> Uh Greb you you're yes, you're like you're 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 like in second place like fairly consistently high road is an amazing like uh racer <laughs> and you honestly like he does all the work for you but you are also scared out of your mind <laughs> like you are freaking yes. out and for like literally almost every yes. single round you are yelling um and <laughs> I'm it, it, just like on the verge of tears, tears the whole time. <laughs> mm-hmm. And even Grab though, has no control. This is all the snail. Yeah. You at some point, like you let go of the reins, and you're just screaming in <laughs> yeah. fright. And like you, you hear a lot of people like screaming for High Road, and it just makes you like want to melt into the ground because you're just like, I'm losing. But you're getting second place. You're getting second place. <laughs> Shelly Moo consistently like keeps her pace yeah. and is vibing throughout the whole thing. And like with the extra yeah. pizzazz of the yeah, sparkles Shelly. and the ribbons, like the little the littlest snail that could beautifully crosses the finish line <laughs> first. And you hear like a lot of angry men just being like, God damn it. <laughs> and then you hear a lot of like little girls just being like, yeah! 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 Yay! Um, you also saw yeah. that on your last round that the, uh, that the poor woman who was working the gift stall put <laughs> put out a sign that said no more Shelly Moo <laughs> and you saw that there was no more Shelly Moo out stuffies of stock. yeah <clears throat> um the second you uh you cross the finish line you hear uh a horn and you, again the clamor of the little girls is deafening and you, you see the gnome come up and he's like Oh, sweetheart, I told you you were going to love the Shelly Moo. Isn't she absolutely the prettiest thing you've ever seen? She's perfect. I love her. Oh, she's a good girl. She's perfect. All right, well, here's your winnings. And he, like, puts a, he, like, puts, like, a huge sash on you. It's bright. It's, like, the exact color that Shelly Moo is. And it's, like, pink. And it just says winner in all gold. <laughs> and he hands you a <laughs> giant bouquet of like pink flowers. Ooh. And um and Shelly Moo is like be like being absolutely uh like uh like living up lapping up all the attention from all the little girls. You see that a couple little girls have, like, yeah. jumped the fence, and they're, like, petting her, and she has, like, a ton of flowers, like, <laughs> being thrown to her, and she's, like, nuzzling the little girls. It's really cute. Uh, <laughs> breakneck, like, oh. and and you see one of the pixies, like, fly over to you, Flops, and he goes, Hey, what's the big idea? Why are you feeding the, why are you feeding the snails hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we got fast for food, the lotus. Oh, poor Breakneck. No. Poor Breakneck. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid snow. It will <laughs> You just see a bunch of pixies like petting Breakneck as he's like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you can see he's like kind of like fr- he's like foaming a little bit, and they're like having to like miss him off a whole bunch. He has a stomach ache. Um, High Road uh, still has an adoring fan base, so even though he won second, uh, you see all the High Roaders like are very like 
they're a little like hoity toity. A lot of them have like big ass hats. And they're all like, yes, high road, good show, good show. And um, you still see like some purple flowers like being thrown at your feet. And uh, the gnome comes over and he goes, Krabby, you you can get down now. The race is over. Uh, okay. I told you, a little adrenaline will fix your right okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he helps okay. you off the snail and he goes, uh, Hyro did a good job for you. He's like, see, the people love him. And you see Hyro just like completely like strutting. Ta-ta. Strike a pose. Strike a pose. <laughs> and his pixies are like shining up his shell really good. And he goes, that was a, that was a good showing. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want to tell you this before, but, you know, which light hands can actually win. So, this was just for fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you told me sooner. <laughs> oh, but you had the time of your life, didn't you? Okay, let's go give your friend her prize. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Oh, so much fun, you guys. Uh, you guys I gotta <laughs> scurry back back towards the, like, the illusion. The hall of illusions. Okay, you're gonna yeah, run off. Of okay, cool, cool, cool. You guys, yeah, you guys just, just like, see back Grim there. just run. So I can still see. <laughs> <laughs> like, Road Runner legs run? Like, she like just the legs, like, like the Road runs, Runner legs? Runs yeah. Runs off, like... <laughs> And she, yeah. yeah, and uh, uh, Sorali, like, she's still um, watching, she yeah. still has you in view, but like, trying to be as far away from Kettle Stew, she's like, nah, uh, Flubs, you yeah. meet up with Sorali, and Sorali is being like, now that the little girls have like heads petted Shelly Moo, they're like, oh my god, you were so good, you were so good, you should race all the time, Shelly Moo's our favorite, and there's literally just, like, a horde of little girls, like, around Sorali. Cute. So sweet. Oh my god, can we have your autograph? And you hit, like, a bunch of, like, 15 pens go in the air. 15 like quills and like a bunch of scrolls. I, 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 I mean, um, sure, I guess. <laughs> you spend a minute like siding, uh, <laughs> like awkwardly. Yep. And, uh, and all the little girls are like Ooh. really <laughs> appreciative. And you see like their moms and their dads come over and they're like, Oh, thank you so much. You're such a good sport. They they love yeah. Shelly Moo. Uh, yeah. She's kind of, I know, Shelly Moo is the best. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's she's kind of a celebrity. Okay, yes, yes, uh <laughs> let's and and a couple of them like asked you to like magically sign their Shelly Moo doll. Like it's very cute. <laughs> yes. Uh Flubs, make an that. insight check for me. Okay. Because <laughs> you're so what is kind of what is kind of sulking, honestly, no. like kicking his feet. <laughs> Stupid snail. Jesus you tried Christ! Your best. I think that's the fourth two this session. Oh, oh my God! Oh, so no. thirty-one. You should dice. <laughs> oh, no. dice that's your dice. I'm so bad. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But see, see, Emma, here's the thing with oh, DMs. Yeah. Usually, when we're playing a player, we usually roll like shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. It, that's just kind of, that's yeah. just kind of fact. That's the yeah. problem. See, that's the thing. I, that's why when you're like, I want to run a one shot, I'm like, but do you really? Because <laughs> then you curse don't yourself bring, to roll that, poorly. Don't bring that DM uh, curse on you. Don't, don't do it. No. <laughs> Flubs, don't do it. You, oh, you this are... is true full-blown <laughs> sulking you are like kicking the dirt <laughs> you are mad um give me give me a perception check give me a perception check okay <laughs> perception 
Disgrace. And <laughs> okay. better. As you're double like, digits. That is double digits. You, you, you have your arms crossed, and you're like, hmm. And you kind of like, you don't give one shit about like whatever Sorali's feeling. You're just like stupid Sorali <laughs> soaking up all the attention. And um, you kind of like look to the stands, and you because you're like, someone threw that lettuce, and you see, uh, you see, you see a guy, um, who is like raking in the gold. And he oh. seems to have been, he seems to have bet against Breakneck, and he won big time. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna creep that way. Yes. <laughs> okay. Rogue Chaos! <laughs> Can I see this from where I'm hanging uh, yeah, out? Yeah, make a perception check. Are you check. speaking from? <laughs> I would like to You're just sneak in. Can I, I make a stealth it, check? But... You're a celebrity now. Uh, yeah, no, but I, I, I was wondering oh if Flubs is sneaky sneaky. Oh, yeah. That's He's gonna 20. try. Net 20! Crit. You want me to roll stealth? Oh my yeah, god. Roll stealth, roll stealth. Crib, <laughs> as you're like, coming down from your adrenaline high, you For see total Flubs. of 22. You see Flubs, and he like, you can see that Flubs was like, kind of sulking, and then all of a sudden, like, something caught his eye in the stands. And he's doing his little sneak a sneak thing that you know Flubs can do. I rolled a sixteen. Okay. Ooh. Total of twenty three. Oh god. Ooh. So you see you you see Flubs, and all of a sudden he like looks at the stands, and then you look at the stands, and you look back, and Flubs is no longer there. <gasps> Even with a nat twenty, I still can't see. I mean, it. you saw that he was sneaking total off. Twenty two. Okay, I guess I'll get a little bit closer again. You like, notice with your nat twenty that yeah, there sure. that there was a gentleman. Um, he has like a long beard and like long hair that he keeps up like in a loose bun. Um, and he is just literally putting so much gold into a bag, so much gold, and you can and you can just see like a ton of de- of dudes coming up to him and like sullenly giving him their their uh their gold and like walking off. And I kinda keep an eye on him and like also keep an eye out for Flubs. Okay. To make sure he's Flubs. Okay. <laughs> what would you like to do as you very you you basically you sneak you are so sneaky. No one sees you in all the like chaos and everything and you can just Blend into the crowd. No one, no one cares about you because you lost. <laughs> <You're> true. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man, what do I want to do? Take hmm. the money. What does do fun? I know hmm. what this acorn does? The acorn? Ooh. You know it yeah. rattles. <laughs> You know that there's something inside. Okay. Did I see? No, that was different. That was before when I got the mood worms, right? Which mm-hmm. was the fireworks. Mm-hmm. That wasn't the acorn. The you know you know you had the glowy worms, and then you like jingled mm-hmm. your acorn, and you know that there's something inside. I got the acorn from the tree ant by the right. dragonfly. Right? Correct. Yeah, you yeah, you like stole it off of him and then you stole the glow worms from the floor. I didn't steal it. You borrowed I said, no do you have any you. extra acorns? Oh that's fair, that's yeah. fair, you did. And he yes. gave it. Correct. I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I stole the button. <laughs> that's true, you did steal a button. You stole yeah. the button. But you asked for the acorn, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. How big is the bag? <laughs> how big is the acorn? <laughs> no, how how big is the like the bag of gold that he's amassing? Oh, it's 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 homie G has has 
turned up on this bet. Like, he obviously made some wild bets against Breakneck, and, like, the odds were mm -hmm. really bad against you losing because he's, like, mm -hmm. considered, like, one of the fastest ones. So, you know, the mm -hmm. one he's to win. literally, you've been watching him for a solid mm -hmm. five, and he has not stopped taking gold. Cool. Oh shit. That's a little. Uh, well, first off, he's just gonna kind of scoop some of the gold into his own bag. He's just gonna do that first before doing anything else. Okay, you get up to him. I was imagining being under the stands, I okay. suppose. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But... Perfect. You sneak <laughs> under the stands. No one else can see you. And uh, mm -hmm. go ahead and make a sleight of hand to steal the gold. Gladly. I still can't see him with my nat 20. He's under the stands. So you just, you saw him, okay. you saw him, like, see something I'm in the I'm just stands. watching the guy that's got the gold. You, you're watching okay. the guy who's got the gold, and you're just like, this motherfucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my goal is to make sure that Flubs is safe. Okay. Like, I don't care if he still steals shit, but I want to make sure he's okay. 18. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll me uh, your percentile dice and your d10. Oh, that's Actually, can I start? Like, can I still keep an eye on him but make my way towards Sorali? Totally. Sorali's kind of being like slowly being like being moved towards that caravan. Oh my god. Okay. That's a 99. <laughs> what? what? Oh. Nuh uh. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even know if I'm old enough to remember. You can't see. It doesn't matter. That's okay. I believe you. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. 99 Whoa. gold. Nine nine gold falls into your cool. into your paws. Cool. That is spike. Wow. Oh, that's great. Um, next. <laughs> <laughs> You're like fuck this dude in particular. Um. <laughs> he, he, he's gonna take uh one of his corn dogs, one of his remaining corn dogs, uh, and one of his cupcakes, and start like trying to crumple it up into, like, paste and dropping oh. it into the gold bag. <laughs> yes! Okay. That's roll, amazing! Roll another slide of hand check. You, you, only, Gladly. Lost, you only lost four corn dogs, by the way. So you still have... Oh, okay, I love Betty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing this for, like, corn dogs. a good three cupcakes, like, three corn dogs, sprinkling some water in there and, like, Try okay. to like mash it you're in. Making a, you're making a yes. whole thing. This, okay. this is a full thing. He's he's kind of annoyed. Loves is mad. Oh. 21. I don't even think he can. I don't even think he can roll that high. <laughs> you are easily able to do this. Uh. So you're just, like, making a paste in the bag? Yeah. He's just making it gross. Okay. There's more, <laughs> like, there, like, as you're doing this, you just see, like, you just hear the eternal clink of gold falling into the bag. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He's, gonna, he's gonna try to speed up. Okay. <laughs> try to, like, match the pace of the gold going in. Okay, cool, perfect. You easily do so. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eventually, that's awesome. Like mm -hmm. after a couple minutes have passed, <laughs> uh, Greb, you don't you don't see you don't see uh, flubs anywhere. But eventually, the guy stops taking bets, and his and his bulging bag is massive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna keep heading towards Sorali. Okay. Uh, 
And uh, so I was like, okay, well, I think everyone should go back to their parents now. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> uh, you you see, like, there's still a couple of like super fan girls. They have like they have all the Shelly Moo merch. Like their braids have like pink snail clips in them. Like they have face paint of Shelly Moo. Uh, they have the Shelly Moo shirts. <laughs> Um, one of them also has, like, Shelly Moo slippers, and you're like, where did she even get those? Anyway, <laughs> so they eventually get towed away by their by their parents, and the little gnome is, like, kind of waiting for you, and he's like, ah, the taste of stardom. It's amazing, isn't it? Sure! Okay, well, let's get your prize. Thank you! Sorali is feeling very overwhelmed right now. Okay. <laughs> She's like bobbed by a bunch of little girls. Yeah. <laughs> I think Grab's gonna come up like behind her and just kind of be her shadow. Yeah. You know? Oh, Grubby, there you are. Okay, well, come on inside. And you guys are ah! like pushed into a caravan. The caravan is yeah. uh, yellow with like blue spirals on the outside. And inside it's. Um, you can see it's pretty plain, um, uh, but it does have like a bunch of cabinets and stuff. And uh, he starts like rummaging around in there, and um, he goes, "Alrighty," and um, he pulls out like a big, like a big potion bottle, um, and he goes, "One potion of advantage." Ooh. And, um, he goes, and this magic wand. What does the magic wand do? I don't know. I hold it. Oh! Magic wand. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. Oh! Do you know when Mr. Light and Mr. Witch are going to do their extravaganza thingy? Is that soon? Oh, he like looks at a pocket watch and he's like, well, uh, I would say it's probably in about oh, three, four hours. You know, we got to crown the witch light monarch. The whole thing. Yeah. Oh. I remember the last time I was here, but it's been a while, so... Thought I'd ask! Do you okay. like working for Mr. Witch and Mr. Light? Sure! <laughs> I made an inside check on that yeah, sure. <laughs> It's just... Sure. I can't... The inflection is weird! Yeah. That's a nat 20! <laughs> I want to know everything about this guy! You got a nat 20, Anna! <laughs> Let's go! The most Sorale's guys yeah. are really working for Sorale! Dang! Um, I want to know everything! <laughs> you, uh... I'm just kidding. You, you... You hear a little bit of, like... Not hesitation but more just like mm -hmm. this guy doesn't mind his job or and he doesn't mind working at the carnival sure. and he doesn't necessarily even mind Mr. Witch and Mr. Light you get a touch of like this guy does his best to avoid Mr. Witch and Mr. Light and and maybe like a little bit of like fear or just like I try and avoid the boss man as much as possible. <laughs> um, I respect that. Yeah. I respect uh, that. So he, yeah, he, he more like keeps his nose clean and tries not to interact sure. with the boss man as much as possible. Um, from Fair. kind of what you've picked up along the carnival, most everyone is not that friendly with Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. They are, they are entities that keep to themselves and that's how everyone likes it. Gotcha. Okay. 
I was like, well, thank you for your time. That was fun. All right. Say, Hi. where'd that little kobold go? Clubs? Hmm? Clubs? Oh, no. I need to go find him. Thank you again. Come on, grab And she turns around, grabs Greb, and pulls out her out uh, of the caravan. Uh, as we leave the caravan, can I, like, tug on Sorelli's arm and kind of try to, like, bring her down to my level? <laughs> Be like, she doesn't Sorelli, resist. Sorelli, ah. I need to talk to you. Okay. I really need to talk to you. Oh, okay, I don't, okay. I don't think Flubs should come through the Fey, fey Wild with us. Oh. Why? I think I've made a horrible mistake. <laughs> um, Kettle Steam knows our names. And... I thought I was safe in the material plane, but Kettle Steam is using powerful and binding Fey magic, and she didn't just take my voice, she took a piece of me, and she really overreacted, and she could do it again, she took Candle Voices, she can't, she took Candlefoot's voice just because she thought it was funny, and if Flub stubs his toe, she could take my memories or my ability to learn or even make me her slave. There's no guarantee she won't do it again and Flubs can't stop her. She she sent him out of the room on purpose. She didn't even acknowledge how he felt and he doesn't even know. He's too naive and I can't trust either of them. But then what if she gets mad if we don't take him? Like... <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Grab is having a meltdown. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Sorali. <laughs> so does does Sorali know that what Kettleseam did was a Kenku thing instead of a warlock thing? I remember you rolling an Arcana check to discern something about, or you, I remember you rolling mm -hmm. an Arcana check to discern like what was up with Candlefoot's thing, and yeah, you discerned that it was not a magical, like it was an ability essentially. Yeah. So it is a Kanku thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just wanted to double check, but I I did find that out. Red. <laughs> One. <laughs> Deep breaths. You're okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. We, everything's been worked out. It's not. No. Uh, it's, but the but kettle. What kettle seam did was not a warlock fey thing. It was a kenku thing. It's, it's just something that Kenku is able to do. Well, Ken Kenkus can't talk unless they take unless they can mimic someone else's voice. It's not. A, it was not a magical thing that that she did. She's lived in Prismere, though. We don't know who her patron is. She could be capable of anything, though. But her patron is friends with Sylvina. We don't know the villain. That, though. What if she, what if she wants the sun? Flubs into the Feywild to help the hags. I... We don't know, though. We can't be guaranteed for sure. What if she's gonna what? do it again? I felt someone watching me. I think I need a moment. <laughs> I'm gonna run off. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> she's like, uh, oh. Huh. Yeah. You know, Shalom is not... Not, not this old yet. Is this what her future looks like? Oh, no. <laughs> I give this to my parents? Oh, no. Um. Ups. Meanwhile. How old is Sorali? Sorali's like mid, mid 20s. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mid 20s yeah. for tiefling? And or, tiefling or years. yeah. So she's actually like yeah, 60 no, something. Yeah. So yeah. she's 60 something. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Flubs. Grab, I think, is like 
six or seven, so she's like fifteen or sixteen in Goblin years. Yeah, she's like she was young when she went yeah. off to college. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a Sheldon Cooper. I get it. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I can I find Flubs? Sure, Flubs. What you doing? Once once the dude. Yeah, once the dude stopped getting gold, Flubs would have retreated to a safe distance and like, okay. waited and watched. Okay. So he's he's still hiding from the dude, but okay. he's not trying to hide from anyone like from the other direction. You know. Okay. You watch as the man, like, saunters down to uh like off like you know and exits the snail racing area none the wiser that you took 99 gold from him (laughs) (laughs) oh my god that was amazing that was amazing (laughs) he's got he's got the same amount of gold as greb now (laughs) whoa yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Grab is a Nepo baby, to be clear, though. Yeah, yeah. Grab is a <laughs> to be Nepo. honest, <laughs> Flubs only initially took the gold because he was like, I'm, I'm making room. I'm making room. <laughs> Just for in the space for the like, corn dog. Then he was like, Whoa, has to be this is a lot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this bag. Is it bursting at the space? Yeah, that's what his, kind, of, kind of his hope was, was the yeah. bag would burst. That'd be great. It's just really large. It's it was immense. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorali, you begin to frantically look around <laughs> for Flubs, and you find him Flubs. like kind of under the stands, <laughs> and he's just like counting a bunch of gold. <laughs> I go up to him. Flubs. 34, 34. <laughs> oh ho! <laughs> hey, that's... Wow, that's a lot of gold. Did you find it? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Can I make an inside check? Can I roll a deception (laughs) check, Fluffs? I mean... (laughs) (laughs) I got a 17. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna roll mine with disadvantage. I feel like he wasn't great at that. (laughs) Okay, that's fair. (laughs) Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, it's probably pretty clear he stole it. <laughs> yeah, my yeah, first roll was really good, but I didn't. I didn't right, feel all of a sudden, the flub's got a ton of money. Yeah, <laughs> uh, ten. So, um, Charlotte, ah. instantly you're like, flubs. Well, it's okay. It's not going to be missed. It's fine. I'll just put it away. I don't need to know how much it is anyway. No, no, to... you can keep counting. Oh. That's fine. Okay. I have to start. I don't remember where I was. I have to start <laughs> again. <laughs> That's okay. Um. Also, you're coming. You're coming to the Feywild with us, right? Yeah. Are you gonna help us? Yeah. That's what I thought. I sit down next to Flubs as Flubs begins to count. Are you, are you gonna go without me? No! I want you to come with us. Oh. Okay. Grand is worried about your mom. And she's kind of having a meltdown. Oh. Yeah. Why? Um, she thinks that your mom is going to steal her voice and do bad things in the Feywild. Because you know in the Feywild, we can't use our real name. We can't? No. Why not? Because the Fey can do really, really mean things if they know our name. Oh. We, want, we don't want them to do mean things to us. But, but I don't have a last name. It... But you go by Flubs, even just your first name. They can do mean things. Oh, God. And Yeah, it can be, but we just have to come up with nicknames. So, I was thinking that my uh-huh. nickname for the Feywild is going to be Amy. Amy. 
Okay. Amy. Okay. Yeah, it's short for amethyst. What's that? It's it's a, a purple jewel. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. So Amy. 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 So we should come up with a really good nickname for you. Okay, okay. I will grab. Thank you. Grab, grab, I don't, I... <laughs> 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 pauses. <laughs> and it's like... Let's do something that's not Krebs' thing. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> let's... Let's do something that's not Krebs' thing, because... If we use Krebs' name, something bad could happen to Kreb. Oh, no, I don't... We don't want anything okay. bad to happen to Kreb. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Um... What about Phelps? Oh? <laughs> well, you're a really good swimmer. <laughs> no! Oh. Uh, it's not, it's not like a, a an underwater plot? Like, I don't... <laughs> You know, I think there's. There, I think I've heard of this guy that's really, really good at swimming, and I think his, part of his name is Phelps. Oh. I don't remember what part, though. <laughs> mm. Do you know any dragons? No. Oh. I don't okay. think I know any dragons. Do, do you know any dragon names? No. Ah, oh, okay. Well, dragons can be kind of scary. They're big. They're oh. bigger than me. A lot bigger than me. Like how big? Um, like, like ten times as tall as me. And like thirty times as wide as me. Oh, really big. How do you know? That's what I've heard. That's what they say in stories. I like stories. I know I like stories too. Stories are fun. Hmm. <laughs> well, we'll uh, work on a nickname for you. We should also work on a nickname for Greb. But we uh, should also we should also reassure. Grab that you and your mom are not going to do anything mean to her. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe I can go talk to mom and say you're not, not to do anything. She, she just knew me. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Yeah. And then you can show your mom all this gold that you found. Yeah. I'm, I'm sticking with the story that T told me. <laughs> just sticking yep. with it. Sorali doesn't want to know. Found. <laughs> not going to lie. Yeah, that you found... Yeah, we should go show your mom. Yeah. The most of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep some of it. Yeah, but where did, where did God go? Uh, I need to go hang out with Tasha, whoever that is. By where oh. Selena is. Oh. Uh, that's where I imagine, because... She loves Tasha. I guess that might break her comfort. Yeah, I, I don't get that, but you know, you know it takes I don't either. <laughs> well, if she's, if she's upset, maybe she wouldn't want to talk to mom anyway. I think, I think your mom scares Greb a lot. <laughs> 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 I really like her. She's pretty straightforward. She's so nice. I'm fine. Yeah. Well, let's go talk to Kelsey really quick. I okay. point at. Do I, I'm assuming I see where Grub is. Grub, uh, where are you? Or do I need to look for Grub? has dashed all the way back to her tent in the staff area. Okay. No! Okay. Yeah. And she's. She's got a few like blankets there, and she's just like 
she dove underneath all the blankets and has just started crying. Oh. Just be like, I don't understand. He said I was nice. I don't understand. He's crying. Oh. <laughs> I don't see Grab. She, to be clear though, she did point out her tent. When she we did. Were on the snow ride, though, so. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. It, it, you think Flubs <laughs> remembers that? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, you think Sorali? I mean, Sorali well, might eventually remember that. Of all the places you know she may be, it would either be her shop tent or her tent. Yeah. Tent. Probably. Yeah. Or the the Tasha doll. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let's let's go talk to Kettle Scene first, so you can you can show off what you want, and then we'll go find Grim. Found, found that one. Mm-hmm. I I'm not gonna tell her about the that was a stupid snow. I didn't I didn't like that ride. <laughs> Let's go talk to Kettlesteam really quick. Okay. Okay? Okay. You go find Kettlesteam. Perfect. Okay, we're going to take a quick five. Cool. Sweet. Be right back. <laughs> hey, uh, screw. Okay, uh, screw. Okay, uh, screw. Em and I were talking about last week's session mm-hmm. with Jamie, mm-hmm. and we 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 posted these Twitch chat mm-hmm. or not Twitch her YouTube channel. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna watch this. It sounds hilarious, and I'm like, it is very funny. <laughs> the drama, but also we're just doing all the chaotic things. <laughs> yeah. And I wish I had made my agent's character a little bit more chaotic. Oh, I think I think it works pretty well. <laughs> no. is perfect. I love Sorali. <laughs> Even though she has a sad backstory. <laughs> we'll get into it. There's time. The slow burn. It's episode three. <laughs> And obviously, we're gonna go for like four years. Of course. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, the Sam at the beginning of campaign two. I picked this voice. I'm gonna do it for four years. <laughs> Just watch me. <laughs> he ended up changing it a little bit. That's that's fair. I yeah. love this group so much. I, this is so much fun. This is the best. This is what I've always imagined D&D would be like. Exactly! Mm-hmm. I love this guys chaos. so much. <laughs> <laughs> my emotional chaos. episode, oh my god. I know, right? <laughs> well, I warned D and Anna ahead of time. I was like, I was warned. probably going to have some episode, just so yeah. you know. <laughs> happened. I love it. No, yes, me it. too. That's why Sarali's like, oh no, this my little <laughs> sister is going to be like this when she gets to Grub's age. Dear God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, Sarali's having to do deal with like two kids. <laughs> mm-hmm. Funny enough, nice. originally Grub was going to be a lot older. But I was like, no, I feel like teenage years fits her better, though. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Because I think, like, year eight is when goblins are considered adults, and she's, like, around six. And then Flubs is three, right? <laughs> yeah, Flubs is three. Flubs, Flubs is three. <laughs> it's, which, it sounds pretty bad. I, in my head canon... Kobold's age real quick. <laughs> um, yeah. 
So he's not like, like he's not like a four year old. <laughs> but he is Yeah, I feel player. like probably Goblin and Kobold age is probably pretty similar. Mm -hmm. So he's probably around like ten years old. Alright. She's at fifteen, sixteen. You guys, I'm gonna have to start doing like cheek massages before her session. <laughs> I know my cheeks hurt too. Oh, yeah, workouts. So much smiling yeah. <laughs> and laughing. Oh, um, no I'm. Mm -hmm. You guys are being so need to funny. frown more often. Grim's <laughs> <laughs> trying to be uh, moping. Oh, you're making me laugh. The best time. <laughs> I know! <laughs> 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 oh, I can't stop smiling! <laughs> Trying to be emo, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be my time! What's the door? <laughs> stop making me laugh! Can you give a hot topic? <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping City! <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Murph. Alright. So let's... Let's pick back up. And yep. we're gonna check in with Greb. Greb, you're crying in your tent. You don't have a proper caravan to like some honest, of the others. Go ahead. Yeah, she's just got like the dinkiest little tent. Mm -hmm. I think she probably ran away so fast that she probably kind of left Pot behind a little bit. No. <laughs> He's probably, probably trying to waddle to keep up. No. <laughs> I think he probably knows where he she went, though. Yeah, but he maybe... But she's just under, like... Yeah. Under some blankets, crying. Yeah, she's just under a pile of blankets, like, just sobbing. I don't uh, understand. <laughs> Why did she do that? <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. He make said me... I was nice. <laughs> Maybe a perception check. Perception. Mm. <sighs> okay. 14, 15, 16. You, she's between your, like she's between your watched. cries, between your, between your loud sniffles, <laughs> you hear, you hear two voices and you kind of like your big, your big ears perk up a little bit and you hear like a low voice and you hear like kind of a higher one. Um, and you're kind of like racking your brain, like, cause they sound familiar but not like not a witch light hand but someone someone who's been around the carnival you've definitely talked to them um and then as you kind of like calm down a little bit you like listen a little bit harder you hear the a low gravelly voice sweetheart you need to find a way to calm down you hear the high, the high pitch voice go. I'll come down when that Kenku pest is gone. She knows nothing. She'll get frustrated soon enough. She, then she'll be on her way. I hope you're right. Trust me, baby. Do I recognize these voices? You have it. You you've you've talked to a lot of people in the in the Witchlight Hand repertoire, and you're kind of like racking your brain for a second, and then like it hits you like a freight train, and you're like, Ugh. Mr. Witch and Mr. Lighter back here. Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, 
also really light. Can I keep listening to them? Sure. Go ahead and make me... Do you want to get closer, or are you just going to try and listen from where you're, you're at? I think she'd probably just try to listen where she's at. Yeah. And she can already kind of hear them. Yeah. Make a perception check. The walls of your tent are paper thin. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen? It was an eighteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eighteen. You you definitely heard them say that Kenku pest. And like you cannot imagine a more pesky Kenku than Kettlesteam. Mm-hmm. And okay. you're like um, and as you listen, you kind of, you're like, you hope you hear more, right? And, uh, mm-hmm. you just, all of a sudden, like, after, like, a moment of, like, tension between them, uh, you, you hear Mr. Light kind of, like, calm down a little bit. And then he starts talking about the carnival. And he's like, okay, well, the capybaras didn't work out. But listen here, maybe we can buy a giraffe, paint it blue, <laughs> or... I, I saw this once. <laughs> we could teach Northwind how to play the fiddle. What do you think about that? <laughs> and you just hear Mr. Witch like, hmm. Uh, you think you think Northwind could play the fiddle? Or, hear me out, Red could play the fiddle. Oh. But then we'd have to get like a really small fiddle. And, like, they're just going back and forth about, like, inane shit. <laughs> um, That's not inane. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> are they in the caravan, like, right next to me? Yeah, you basically, like, you kind of, like, poke your head out just a little bit, and you see that your tent is next to their caravan and they just have the door open um and then you see on the other (laughs) side uh when you were running in that thacko is like on guard and he's sitting on the the opposite side of the caravan and he's smoking his bubble pipe okay yeah i would just stay where i am in case the thacko's there I'll kind of take You're like, hmm. Meanwhile, Sarali and Flubs, you guys, like, come out of the snail racing area after having this little chat. And you guys start kind of, like, your head's on a swivel, and you start looking around, and you see Pot is kind of like, listen, Pot doesn't move that fast. Um, so he's like, cling, 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 cling. and like people keep like, he keeps like rerouting because like there's a ton of people just walking around all the time. And so he like, a, you see one person like almost trip on him and then he like moves out of the way and uh, you see that he's like just past the Hall of Illusions. Well, oh, really? I think we should go. Do you think we should go after Pot? Or do you want to go talk to Kettle Steam first? Oh. I'm a little worried about Crab. I mean, I saw what direction it went. How, how, how about this? You follow Pot, I'll go talk to Map. And now uh, I'll go back in, in that direction. That's toward, that, that, that's toward uh, where his shop was, right? That's towards where her tent is. 
Oh yeah, she she showed when we were in the swamp. That's right, that's right. Okay, I'll go there. Okay, oh yeah, because she's a staff member, so she can be. Oh. It's fine. I'll sneak it. It's fine. Okay, I'll I'll well, come find Greb's tent. Okay. 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 We're splitting the whole entire party. Okay. Sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad has ever uh, happened in uh, this party. You no, not at all. Um, I start following Pot. Okay. <laughs> it's very weird to say that phrase, but that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I start following Pot. Feels weird. I'm following. Yes, I'm following. This little cast iron pot clinking along. Yep. Do, you... I'm, do I catch up to Pot pretty quickly? You, cr you catch yeah, up to Pot, that. and Pot, like, kind of acknowledges you. And then, like, keeps clinging along. Huh? <laughs> I, 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 I slow my pace to match pots. Easy enough. And just watch pot. I just follow so, along. So, pot, like, goes out, go like, kind of, like, skirts past the buildings and then walks up mm -hmm. to, like, the tall, like, basically the, the like, herbal fence that like surrounds the staff area and you can tell that the vines are like pretty thick and the pot just pot just stands there for like a solid minute like kind of expecting something to happen and nothing is happening <laughs> Um, can I, can I move the vines out of the way? Uh, what do you do to attempt such a thing? Oh, man. Uh... My hand. <laughs> <laughs> can I take... You should Apparently, pick up I have quarter staff. That's awesome. <laughs> I take my quarter staff and just kind of, <laughs> I just kind of move the vines out of the way a little bit. I don't want to touch the vines, but Ooh, she has a I, quarter staff. I have a quarter staff. Ooh. You, uh, as I, soon as you put the staff into the vines a strong like grip on the other side of the staff like begins to like pull on your quarter staff go ahead and make a strength I like throw. Go. Oh, you see that the vines fully just eat the staff <laughs> <laughs> that's their staff now <laughs> I know no luck that's okay yum, 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 yum. you had I'm a quarter gonna be staff <laughs> Sorelli yeah Sorelli Sorelli she, she uses her she you, when she casts magic, she holds a crystal, so yeah, yeah, she yeah. never. So you're like, this is mostly for bonking, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's poking. that's fine. Yeah, I use my crystal. Um, it's like I look down a pot and I say, "Is there another way?" After like. After the minute is scared. gone, and after Pot like sees the vines like eat the quarter staff, it just like click 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 like off into the front, and it and you kind of follow it, and you see that uh, there is a large bugbear who is in front of the big top tent, which uh, mm -hmm. is like the path into the staff area. Mm -hmm. I love him. He's got a pumpkin him. on his head. He has. <laughs> he wears overalls, nothing. Overalls that are shorts and nothing else. And he has two impossibly <laughs> tiny wings, like on his back. <laughs> like grab. Um, excuse me. I'm lo I'm looking for grab. Yeah. Do, do you know where she is? The goblin? Yep! 
Witch goblin. She seemed a little distressed. Uh, the one that makes potions. Oh, that the alchemist. one. With yeah. the glasses. Yeah, and, she, and this is her pot. Oh. He looks at the pot. He's like, this, Yep. You should really take that to lost property. No, no, this is crabs. I can neither confirm nor deny that Greb is back there. Well, I'm I'm still holding pot. Yeah, yeah I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you see Grab, can can you let her know that her friends are looking for her? He looks you up and down. Wait, or you think he looks you up and down because he does have that pumpkin on his head. Yeah, I can't really tell. I'm just like innocently I'm just, like, my friend is upset. Okay. okay, one second. And he, like, walks okay. back into the tent. Greb, after uh, you are, like, trying to hear all this conversation happen, and all of a sudden you hear big boots stomping, and uh, you see, you, you, hear, you hear a big guy come through the tent, and he goes, Hey, Thacko! Yeah, what do you want? You seen that goblin girl around here? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> What's it to you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you have seen her, her little friends out there, she seems a little distressed. Look, have you seen her or not? <laughs> Greg, this is just going on, <laughs> like. <laughs> hmm. Let's see if I would come out or not. <laughs> Make the roll. Hmm. 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 Does he mention anything about Pot? What'd I say? Her little friend's outside, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just heard that her friend's outside. <sighs> Listen, I already told her to go to Lost Property. She said she was Greb's friend. She had, like, this little, like, cauldron thing with her. I don't know. What? <sighs> did, did you see her or not, okay. Thacko? <laughs> <laughs> he goes... <laughs> Listen, you know I'm here for one thing and one thing only, and that's to keep the bosses happy. I don't care about no little goblin girl. Okay. I think hearing that pot's out there, I would come probably out. <laughs> be like, you said there was a cauldron. Oh my god, Thacko, for once, can you just be fucking helpful? Gosh. <laughs> Oh, that little goblin girl! Well, there she yeah. is! <laughs> you said there was someone outside? Yeah, come on. She's like a tall, okay. tall purple tiefling. Oh. She got a little cauldron with her. That's really hot. Okay, so you do know her. Okay, cool. I thought this was a very intricate ruse. No, I know her. Okay, come on. He like leads you back through this, okay. through the big top, and, you, and he like through the changing rooms where you see like everyone's like getting ready, putting on their makeup, and like the big top is like freshly with straw, and like everyone's like getting kind of excited. You like wipe away your tears, and you see Sorali just kind of like peering in, like not putting her actual body inside the tent, but just, like, anxiously waiting for you. I'm still holding pot. 
you see Gov up here and she, her face just looks super puffy and like tear streak. You're just like, oh, hi. How did I, you run away? Uh, I just stayed a moment. Um, oh, is, is the moment done? I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Okay, here's pot. Thanks. I press to digitate and make and kind of clean up the tear tracks. <laughs> Just kind of clean grub up a little bit. Pot's like warm in your hands. No sparkles. Yeah. yeah no. Grub no. Just no sparkles. Clings to pot like. And there's no sparkles or anything like that. Maybe one little sparkle on the tip of her nose, and that's about it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, well, I think this is a lot more than I bargained for. But, but, Grab, Flubs and I need your help in the Feywild. I promise I won't let Flubs take the nickname Grab 2.0, okay? Or Grab 2, I promise. <laughs> so, Ollie, the Feywild has a lot of rules, and I don't think they're... I don't think Flubs can handle the the rules I Flub... without. I I think Flubs is going to do better than you think. In fact, sometimes I think Flub is smarter than us. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that either. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's a different kind of smart. I mean, there's no guarantee that. Kettle Sue's not gonna be mad at me either way. She's really scary and I still feel like someone's watching me and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to I don't know what to do. I don't I I know I don't know what to do. <laughs> You don't- you don't have to come with us. If it's too scary. But... You need me, though. I but need your has me. rules! Did, uh huh? Did she tell you about the rules? I mean... You've never been there before. No, I've I always have. wanted to go, though. <laughs> I've been there, and if there are hags there, it's even worse than what it was like when I was a kid. Yeah. More of a reason for me to find Sibilna. I gotta find her. I don't think... I, I don't think... I wanna I, find her too, but I don't know if it's worth ruining my life over. If little she's gonna take my voice or... I don't... My memories that's not the, or anything else. Well, okay, so... I, I, I'd like to make a point out that Kelsey did not take any of your memories. So that's a little bit of a jump to no, a conclusion. No, she did take my voice and she knows But she gave it voice. back! Because she's trying to protect her baby! I didn't do anything wrong, though! I don't know what I did to make her angry, but if she gets angry again for no reason... She was not angry for no reason. She thought that Fluffs got a bad end of a trade. She thought that you swindled Fluffs. Even though you and Flubs agreed, she didn't know the whole situation. But she's very protective of Flubs. She didn't even ask him, though. She didn't even know. She didn't well, but she knows what you won versus what he got. I don't think she does, though. I feel like she's still watching me. Or someone's still watching me. I don't know. I was gonna if say, are you sure it's Kettlestein that's watching you? If it's not her, then who would it be? That's a good question. We are at a carnival. There are a lot of people around. Do I feel like there's anyone watching me? Make a perception check. I shouldn't have used my name on my shot. Thirteen. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You look around and I mean you're right there's tons of people here 
you you think Grev's being a little paranoid. Like, you don't think that Kettle Steam has the power to, wa- like, scry on her all the time. You think, you think right. Greb's just a little rattled. Yeah. Emma, don't die. Um. <laughs> Greb, I... I understand... I, I understand why that was really, really scary. Because spells being able to talk and say our spells is very, very important, and it very helps us protect ourselves. But Kettlesteam did give it back to you, and I don't think she can just take your voice willy-nilly. How do you know, though? There's no guarantee. What well, if she could do it from anywhere? What if she's watching you right now? You know, in the Feywild, I have a feeling that's not going to be the thing that we're going to be super worried about. We're going to be worried about some hags. But what if she's with the hags? I don't she's know. She's not. She's with my boys, though. Because the the power that she works for is stronger than Sybilda, so it has to be stronger than the hags. Exactly, she's super powerful, and I don't trust her. That's me. How can I trust Fluffs? Okay, see, now you're jumping to a conclusion based on the fact that they have a mother-son relationship. They're two different people, Greb. Yeah, but he can't stop her, though. And like the he feel well, it's perfect for him to mess up. There's so many rules that he can break. <laughs> I've lived there. You have it. You don't know what it's like. But Flubs has also learned from Kettlesteam, who has been in the Feywild, so maybe Flubs does know the rules better than you think that he does. But what if he does it? Well, that's when we'll teach him. Well, what if she gets mad and she takes my voice again? I don't have any guarantee that she won't do it again. She doesn't like me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I want to help Sibilda, who's Tasha, but I don't know if it's <laughs> worth ruining my life over. If she takes my voice, I can't do anything. Well? I don't know what to do. Well? You have... I mean, obviously you have a few options, but the biggest ones I can think of are you can stay here, which like carnival. Yeah. That's the safest option. That's the guarantee, because then you won't be with me in clubs. So there's, so then Kettle Steam won't take your voice that way. Yeah. Or you can trust, take a leap of faith believe in Flubs. Flub, Flubs doesn't, is not out to get you. And I don't think his mom is out to get you either. I think she just wanted to prove a point. I know he's not. He's just a kid, but Kettle Steve is really scary. I don't know. Well, I can't make this, I can't make this decision for you. I think that Kettle Steam is not going to do that to you. I think Kettle Steam was just protecting Flux. How do you know that? Because Kettle Steam and I talk. And I'm, it's my job to protect Flubs. Can not you yours, sure mine. She doesn't take my voice again, though. Can I you can make go sure she doesn't use my name? I will go talk to her. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna go back in your tent? Oh. 
Yeah, until uh. you're done talking to her. <laughs> okay. I will go find Flubs and Kettles. Okay. Okay. I go back towards Kettles. <laughs> Meanwhile, Flubs. <laughs> well, this is all happening. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> You see, you see Calisteen for the third time today. She raises her, <laughs> raises her eyebrows at you. Oh, Flubsies! You're back, a, um, back again! I am, I am. Where are your little friends? Um, uh, the, the, I don't know. The resting, I think, uh, is, is not important. Okay. Mom, can, can we... Can we talk? Oh, sure, sweetie. Come on time. Uh, she immediately starts, like, she pull like, she brings in, like, what she was cooking, which you realize is, like, fresh bread. She starts, like, buttering some toast for you. What's mm. wrong, Flubsy? Well, be before when we were all here, um, I asked you if if you were mad at my friends, and and you said no. Yeah. I remember. Were were you lying? Because Gleb Gleb seemed Gleb seemed pretty upset. And, and I, I didn't like it. Oh, Flumsies. I wasn't mad. I was irritated. Okay, you know this is hard for me, but <laughs> aren't those the same thing? Well, there's a slight nuance, but, uh... Oh. Is she... She's sort of, like, exasperately, like... Finishes buttering her toast and, like, puts it on a plate in front of you, and she goes... Oh, now, Flubsies, when have I ever hurt anyone? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Well, <laughs> never, but... but exactly. We now remember what we talked about. There's a difference between pranks mm -hmm, and fun oh. jokes and actual harm done to a person. Now, that little goblin girl, Greb, I uh -huh. took her voice for under five minutes. I think she's being a little dramatic. But, but she seems really upset. Oh. Mom, she, she seems scared of you. Oh. Well, it has been a long time since someone's been properly scared of me, and that is very flattering, but... <sighs> this is Flubsy. If you're going uh. to Prismere with these ladies... <clears throat> You're going to be facing a lot uh, scarier things than your old mummy. Those hags are serious business. But... But, but with the hags, we could be scared together. And it'll be okay. I... I could never be scared of you. Oh. I just didn't want her taking advantage of you. But, but she wasn't. Mom, I, I asked for the cough drop. Oh. She, she didn't steal, uh, steal the cough drop. <sighs> Flubsies, we... This is my fault, because... 
I really didn't instill a lot of negotiation tactics in you. I've always done the talking, and it's not your fault, sweetie, but... No, no. Map, map. You, you said, you said, just like an hour ago, you said... <laughs> he tries really hard. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the, the, the rule of... Something. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, when, when a friend is in your home, that you have to be... Friendly? But gracious? to them, and, until they, they don't deserve it anymore. And she did deserve it. I had so much fun. I, I, I've never had friends before. This is my first day, and, and I feel like it's, it's not going well anymore. She genuinely looks really sad for, for a minute. She goes, Oh, Flopsies, I know that... We weren't able to make friends because we moved around so much and uh, I may have jumped the gun a little bit. Whatever that is. But you know maybe I made a mistake. Didn't mean to scare the poor girl. I'm sorry. You mean it? Yes, yes. And, and you, you, you promise not to do it again? Oh, Flubsy. I could leave even if I tried. What you are in Prismia, whew, all my powers go out the window. I can't cross planner steal her voice what kind of that's some demigod that stuff for this round. yeah that's yeah. it's wildly out of my power range okay uh, i'll i'll tell her that then she has nothing to worry about except for those hags that's actually something to worry about You know, the, the unicorn told me that the hags store people without rings. Did you know that? She like, her eyebrows are like off her face. <laughs> what? The you don't. Never mind. Ooh, stealing with no wings. Yeah, but. Apparently, people are like, like they go missing. Like, like kids. Like me. Ooh. She kind of like makes like a concerned fluffing with her feathers, and she goes, "Ooh, that's it is a slight me more dire." than I thought. Uh... Oh, well, those unicorns didn't tell you what they looked like, did they? No. They give you... any... any other information about these... people stealing children? No, they just said they were hags. I'm not, you know, I assume that I probably know a hag if I saw one. I mean, it seems pretty. You would know a hag. If you saw one, okay. But, uh, but, but mom, uh, like, imagine you being a kid and, and being taken away from here, from, from your mom, all alone. I don't, I, I, I want to help them. I know, Flopsies. And you're going to, by defeating these hags. Oh. I... I fear that these... Uh, people taking these children 
more than likely work for the hags. Wow. Okay. I love you. I love you too, Pepsi. Now. And she sits down and she reminds you of the rules of hospitality, the rules of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. reciprocity, and mm -hmm. oh my god, the second one that I always forget. Um, Owner. <laughs> the rule. The rule of ownership. And she like kind of pointedly looks at you about that one. <laughs> I remember. I, I remember. This is a very big mission I'm sending you on, and I would go myself, but I, I can't. Oh, also, um, to Amy. Said that <laughs> we shouldn't Amy? use our real names. Oh, it's it's the it's the, the proper one. It's fine. Oh yes. <laughs> Got it. Okay. It's a problem. Uh, well. Do it. Uh. Yes, you should not be giving your name out to just anyone, Flopsy. People will use it to do bizarre mind control and have influence over you. I don't like that. <laughs> you know, oh, most uh, people Harris? don't, Flopsy. Uh, that's fair, that's, that's a good reaction. Uh, I, I was thinking because, um... The green one... Uh... <laughs> talked about how, you know, she thought I was related to dragons. And, you know, I was wondering, uh, if you were know, like... Any names of dragons that like could be my name in the in the fair ride because I can't use flaps, you know. So, um, but if you don't, it's fine. I can. We'll think of something. Uh, make me an inside check, clubs. Dragon name. Dragon name. Wow! <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> It's a dirty one. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh no! How oh, many so, so far this game? Dice. I think that's the fifth one. I'll be honest. The fifth oh one. Oh my this god! Game. Yeah. Yeah. I swear I didn't me. curse the one I gave. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, Emma. You, you see, <laughs> you need to put those dice in jail. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know, in the moonlight stack. They're so pretty though. Um, they yes. need to. I'll, I'll set them out before you. Yeah, set them on the <laughs> windowsill and like smudge them or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, no. You see, you see your mom like her face like screws up in kind of like an indistinguishable like emotion, mm. and she sits next to you and she goes, "Now, flubs." I, she, she sighs, she's like, I don't know how to tell you this. Okay. You, Flubsy, you know how, you know how when you see families, there's a, there's a mother and, and usually a father, but sometimes there's two mommies and two daddies or whatever, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Keku. And huh? I, you know, Keikus lay eggs and and kobolds! Okay. That's you. That's you. Okay. Um, are also hatched from eggs. But okay. I did not... I did not... 
bake your egg. Oh. Uh. But, but, but your, your mom, mom, not... Yes, yes, absolutely. What, what, I... do, you, what do you mean? Uh, sometimes... Sometimes... Parents are... They, they choose their child. Okay. So, I, so you, you chose me? Y yes, Flapsy, yes. Well, I... I found you. I decided that you were you, mine. You found me? I found you. Like found or like found? Like when I say found, oh, found, I don't know what's yeah, being found, I, you know. So. I did not steal you from your real parents. Let me just put that out there. Oh. <coughs> okay, okay. That would be that would be very bad, very bad, Flumsy. That would be crazy. Yeah, that yeah, would that be, be that would be wild. that would be terrible. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh no. <laughs> I found you by yourself. By, by myself? Yes. Why, why was I by myself? I, I wish I knew, Flopsy. You were just the smallest little thing. Oh. Well, if if you were an egg, I would choose you too. She gives you like a big hug and she goes, oh, Flubsy, I'm so sorry I had to tell you like this. It, I just never thought it would come up and... I, I, that's fair. I mean, you know, we're not really talking about eggs, you know, we're never, we're never it, talking you're about that, so... Really, honestly, this is, you're very young to be having this conversation and it's gonna unlock a lot of other <laughs> uncomfortable conversations that I don't really want to have with you right now. When we come back, we can talk all about it. Long story short. <laughs> Long story short. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. I, I found you. And you were not an egg. You were very, 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 very small. I, I wasn't an egg? You were not an egg. You... You were all alone, just a baby, and I couldn't just leave you there. And I looked, I looked for your parents and for your people, and I, I never found them. Okay. Okay. So this is a very long well, and roundabout way of telling you that I don't think Flubs is your real name. Oh. What? <laughs> okay. I let I let you pick that when you were very when you were very young, and it sort of stuck, and it was very cute, but. You probably oh. actually had a, a a real name, but I don't I don't know what it is. 
Well, that means no one can, you know, steal my mind then. So. Well, yes, th that is the silver lining, and I'm very glad that you look at it that way. <laughs> I would not choose flops. You Seems would, like such an odd word. You know, you, I, I, <laughs> in retrospect, maybe shouldn't have let a baby Colvo change his own name. But you know, <laughs> hindsight is twenty twenty. Oh. Well, that, that does in a roundabout way answer my question, so... Okay. That went on a long tangent, and... I, you know what, Flubsy, when, we, when you get back, we're gonna, we're gonna look into some therapy for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. Um... Okay. I love you very much. Oh, yeah. I, I I love it I love it too I I do um I'm I'm sorry for for getting mad at you I just no it's, you it's, you it's should be I've now. I've always been very protective of you Flubsy and it wasn't fair of me to be so mean to your friends. Well, you know, you, you apologized, so it's, it'll be fine. I, I just go and tell them you apologized and you, you won't do it again, and we'll uh, be friends again. It'll, it'll be fine. And then I can go and uh, to the farewell and maybe help those other kids. I think that would be very noble of you, Flubsy. I, I should probably go, uh, um, Amy might be looking for me, so... Okay. The purple one. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I uh, Flubsy. I, gonna... I wouldn't- I wouldn't tell anyone that Flubs isn't your real name. Oh. Not even Amy? Uh, I mean... If that well, one's up about, to you. you know, it's your name, sweetie. They're gonna tell me... They're gonna tell me that I can't use flubs, but I know that I can use flubs. Right, flubs yeah, you might have to get awkward. into your backstory a little bit, so, you know, tell them what you need to. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that tomorrow. It'll, it'll be fine. I'm just yeah. gonna give you the rest of this bread then. She like wraps it up <laughs> and gives it to him. She's like snuggles him really close and she goes, I really am sorry that you had to learn this way, but it'll you'll be you'll be better off in the Fair Wild for it. I'll, I'll remember. Okay, let's see. Be safe. I will. Run off. You run almost smack dab into Sorali and Greb. Oh! <laughs> Just Sorali, not Greb. Greb went yeah, back. Yeah, Greb went yeah. back. <laughs> you almost run smack dab into Sorali. <laughs> Who's like, oh, getting a so, uh, in today. Um, I am. I thought Oh! Did you find... I just yeah, just... She, she, she... I found Pot, and Pot was headed towards where the stack area is. Oh. Um, I got to see a really big bug bear. Oh. Um, so yeah, uh, Greg went back to her tent. Okay. Um, then we should go there. Well, she's very distressed. Well, I about, did. She, she's so worried that Kettleseam is going to take her voice and a bunch of other stuff. But she's just freaking out. <laughs> and so, of course, her brain just goes to all the worst case scenarios. It's just not a good situation. Well, I had a long talk with Mom. 
Um, uh -huh. But we, we talked about, you know, I told her that, um, that, that she was mad at, at, at Grub and, and that wasn't, I, I didn't like that. And she said she was sorry, and she said she would never do it again, and, and so, we should, we should go talk to Grub, and no, 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 so she's, she's not sad anymore. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know. I mean, you told me that, like, this, I have a confession. Okay. When you When you said, uh, do you remember, like, the tent? And I was like, oh, yeah, the one in this one? I don't remember. I, I, it, was, <laughs> it was, like, one of, it was all a bunch of tents. I don't, I don't remember which one. So you'll have to lead. I rolled well. Okay. <laughs> oh jeez. Sure. <laughs> so Raleigh doesn't necessarily remember everything. Mm -hmm. Um Okay. Well let's 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 head back. Let's do it. I don't I don't think they're gonna let us into sea prep though. Why not? I don't think we're allowed in that area. Oh well then we'll just go past them, it's fine. Oh, you mean like go around, like sneak around? Yeah. Oh, okay. You'll do better at that than me, but I can try. <laughs> do uh -huh. it. Do well, it. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can go it and bring her out to you. Or, or maybe, you know, if if there's someone that won't listen, maybe you could distract them and then I can sneak past. You know what I could do? Oh dear. I could disguise oh. myself as somebody that works. My grub. Here. <laughs> I don't think it would be a good idea for me to also <laughs> look like Greb. Okay. I don't think Greb has a twin. We should ask her. Also, <laughs> maybe you know, if she is freaking out about people like stealing her voice. <laughs> Maybe it would be a bad idea to show up looking like her. I feel like that would send the wrong message. <laughs> that might send the wrong message. You're right. That might send yeah. a really, really bad message. Oh, dear. So... <laughs> <laughs> We're causing chaos to the DMs. <laughs> 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 She's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Do I, do I still feel like someone's watching me? Or has that feeling not <clears throat> happened since we've read um, this? The not, not in the staff area. Okay. All right. It's Raleigh and Flubs. What do you guys do as you approach the big top and the staff area? <laughs> Oh, that is a big bugbear. Yeah, it is a very big bugbear. He's huge. Why does he have a pumpkin on his head? You know, I didn't ask. Oh. Maybe you can ask him, and then he'll tell you, and he'll be distracted. I don't know if he's going to do that. Um. I will say that the vines like to eat things. I had a staff, I no longer have a staff. <laughs> uh, the vines ate your staff? Yeah, the vines <laughs> ate my staff. Oh. They must, have, they must have been very hungry. I mean, I have a bunch of cupcakes. You do have a lot of cupcakes. It's very impressive. I'll remember that. Mm-hmm, I think it's very You know, I wonder if we go around to the back of the staff area, I wonder if there are just trees and, and bushes instead of... Do you, do you think if there are bushes, the bushes will eat us? I mean, I hope not. I feel like, the, you know, that's something you only know once. <laughs> <laughs> Before, you know, you eat. But let's, yeah. I, let's try it, you know, I, I can go on. I, I, you know, I just... 
I, 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 I just don't know if I'd do well at distracting. I'd get distracted myself. It just wouldn't go very well. Well, I mean, that's by you know, you, you, maybe you show him some of your marbles, and you know, you can like, just say, look, look, all the sneak past. That is true. Hmm. I, I don't know. When, DM question, when we were going by, like, with the swan taking us through, did it look like regular trees and bushes surrounding the staff area, or? Great question. No, it did not. Uh, you see that the step, like the staff area, is protected by twenty foot high and five foot thick Jesus. wall of thorns. Jesus, <laughs> hungry. Thorns. Yeah, there's a reason why Greb ran to her tent instead of her shop. <laughs> you can basically just see, like, like Greb's tent has like a little flag at the top of it. Like, you can kind of <laughs> see, like, the tops of it a little bit, and you can see the big top, of course, but, like, it... She did point it out, but it's not easy to get to. Yeah. But I have misty stuff. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Alright. And Flops is definitely smaller than me. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, that, Misty Step doesn't bring anyone, though. That's Dimension Door. Yes. Uh, or oh, Thunder that's Step. true. Or Thunder. I feel like Thunder Step is not a good idea here. Well, I don't no, think no, 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 I do not have Thunder Step. I just have Misty Step. <laughs> I don't think two people need to go and get grabbed, but it true. would be a lot more meaningful if Flops was the one who went to get grabbed. You also have to... See the unoccupied space. Go ahead. Yeah, that's true. And I probably wouldn't be able to do this. So, okay. Anyways, it was just the idea. Mm -hmm. But the bugbear does know it was you a fun know, idea, though. so. All right, I, I will, I will, I will, I will distract. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. I go up to the bugbear. Hi. Hey. So, I have a. Uh, why do you have a pumpkin on your head? <laughs> I really want to know. Okay. First of all, it's a helmet for protection. Oh, that's cool! I thought it was a pumpkin. It looked like a pumpkin to me. It. it is it because orange is your favorite color? It is a pumpkin, but it's also a helmet. <laughs> Well, that's a really smart helmet. Organic. <laughs> it is very organic. I like it. So, so are are you just a protector? So, as I'm talking, I'm hoping yeah. that Flo's yeah, yeah, yeah. is speaking. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> because she's just gonna prattle and ask a bunch of uh, random yeah. questions okay. to this bugbear. Yeah. <laughs> make that make that still. Tip. We don't need the answers, but. Nineteen. Hell yeah. Nineteen. You easily sneak Could... past the big top. Um, <laughs> I, I had an idea of something that I could do. If he wouldn't, wasn't able to sneak back. <laughs> easy you are, okay. easy. You are met with a very tall wall of thorns. That's the big top? Oh, you want to sneak into the big top? Well, I mean, I want to sneak towards the tent. I don't want to fuck with the thorns. Okay. I thought the thorns were like an outer outer ring. Oh, okay. You want to sneak in the big top. Yeah, I want to sneak past the bugbear, essentially. Okay, okay. You just sneak past him, and, uh, like, you get in, and then you're like, okay, I didn't think I'd get this far. 
I was oh. gonna say, I I could I I could have charmed. I I know how to charm it if necessary. So if you hadn't rolled well. <laughs> Did Sorali like tell him what what Greb's tent looks like? I mean, Greb Greb would have pointed it out at the, during the swarm. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I would I would have mentioned what the tent looked like with a little flag on top. But I also figured Flubs would be able to find a green goblin <laughs> in a tent. Well. <laughs> a lot of tents. I would I would uh, hope. Loves you but yes, I did describe. I did describe. Um, <laughs> I'll sneak out the window. Flubs, you see inside the tent, it's, you know, it's a bunch of like witch light hands and they're kind of just like making sure their rigging is good, da da da. And you see a brightly colored like uh, fabric that you see a couple people like walk in and out of. But you also see. Um, two uh, witch light hands who apparently are sharing a bottle of some sort and they're sort of like bickering with each other. Bain truth. He's looking for a tent. <laughs> like, or a little tent. No, no, no. Okay, tent. he's in the big top, and he doesn't really see a tent. He also doesn't see the staff area. Okay. Okay. Is there a, an opposite side of the big top? Is there another exit from this big top that he sees? It's just this weird, like, fabric door that people are walking in and out of, and... You're sort of like, ah, two witch light hands are in front of it. Oh, got it. Like, they're kind of guarding the door. Mm -hmm. One is a satyr, yeah. and then the other one is a lizard folk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> are they... Uh, do, do they seem like they're looking people up and down as they pass through? Are they glancing them at all, or are they just doing the right thing? Make a make a insight or a perception check. Both are bad for you, so it doesn't matter. It, both are bad. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, it's a decent roll, though. It's a 15 total. Okay. They seem to like are they're pretty involved in their conversation but it's quite literally like they are sitting on opposite sides of this doorway and like people are just kind of going in and out but they're clearly performers um mm -hmm. and but you do see that they're like passing a bottle back and forth Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna try to. Uh, people are going back and forth mm -hmm. through the tent flap. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna try to like sidle up, like right behind one of the taller people, and just act like I'm with them as they pass through. <laughs> okay. Make. Cheers. Make a stealth try. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Oh no. No, in a good way. In a good okay. way. Oh good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> it's a nat 19 okay. plus 7 for a 26. Okay, I roll a 6. Hey! I roll a 6. So you like oh, easily like, hide within someone's robes, and as you pass by, you hear like the satyrs <laughs> like, so then, so then I said, you know what I told them? Okay. So, you know Johnny, right? Okay. I, I was seeing him last week, and no, you didn't. I told you to never see him again. I know, I know. And uh, he's just, oh my god, he's so cute, you know. And he plays the lute like you wouldn't believe. And you just 
through the curtains. Uh, as you walk through the curtains, uh, you see, like, this amazing uh, dressing room, and there's a bunch of people and, and uh, like, putting on makeup and, like, trying on their different outfits, and, like, uh, you can see that everyone, like, there's rows and rows and rows of costumes, and the counters, which are, like, lit up, um, the mirrors are sort of, like, lit up, are littered with, like, baubles and, like, costume jewelry and, like, fake props, um, and you see, like, uh, butterfly wings everywhere, um, and makeup galore, and it's just like, whoa. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Uh, he's gonna leave the folds and start looking around. Okay. Go ahead and make... Feel casual. A... Yeah, 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 uh, make a, um... Yeah. Investigation check. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I should have cast hey. guidance on you. Before. <laughs> I mean, I... Trolley is having the really longest conversation with Burley of all time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So Riley has a tendency to ramble when she's super nervous, so it actually works really well. Same yeah. with Greb. <laughs> oh no. They're very yeah, similar in that sense. <laughs> a total of eight. Uh -oh. For investigation? Just kind of looking around. Yeah. It's only plus one. Okay. <laughs> um, oh no. <laughs> better than minus one, but it's still only a plus one. Uh, you're you're oh just my. like, oh, looking around, and to your horror, you see a unicorn cut in half. <gasps> oh no, no. In reality, oh. it's. The front half and the back half yeah, a of a unicorn costume. Yeah. But Greb doesn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. I think from that, Flubs actually gets kind of scared. Like, <gasps> what is this? Oh no. this? Uh, uh, and he's going to stop Even looking at Bobbles uh, and look around for another exit. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, uh, you you like feel like a breeze, like an, a, a a curtain like flutters to the back to the outside. <laughs> you leave with a quickness. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. After passing that elder tour, you pop out to a <laughs> ring of <laughs> caravans. <laughs> Oh, monster! <laughs> <laughs> They're killing the unicorns. Um, <laughs> you see beautiful caravans, all different shapes and sizes, including one that seems to be like a huge, like fish bowl full of water, which you can only imagine is for the beautiful mermaid Palasha. And you see yeah, in fair. the corner, kind of squished in between two caravans. A very sad little tent. And you over here. <laughs> he's gonna... He's gonna double check to make sure that sound is not coming from the fishbowl. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Um, uh, and then he's gonna just, like, knock very quietly on the door. On the tent door? On the tent door? Yeah, on the tent door, yeah. <laughs> Uh, lock, it? lock, lock. Let's, let's flop. Yes. Flops. Flops. Oh, did you want the cupcake back here? You can have it. <laughs> oh, oh, it's yours. I... Oh. Yeah. I'll... Can I come in, please? Yeah, you can come in. He'll enter, still kind of looking back. Here, you can have the cupcake back. No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want the cupcake. No, no, uh, I don't. I don't want the chocolate. Did you see the... Not important. 
Brad, I talked to my mom, and, and she said she was so sorry, and, and she should have listened to me, and to you, and she'll never do it again. So, can, can we be friends again, please? She said that? She said, uh, uh, pinky swear. Oh. Well, she seemed really bad even though we made a deal. And I, I... thought it, it was a good deal, but she didn't think so. And she didn't believe me. And she took my voice. And I don't know what had to happen again. I, I know. Because I, I hate my voice. Did you? Potions. And. It's gonna make you do a disability push up, but she didn't believe me. I know, and she sort of, I don't. She, she said she was, she was real protective of me, and, and she, she was wrong to do that. Uh, not wrong to be protective. Wrong that she, she took your voice. I, 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 I know that can. That was probably really scary. Yeah, and yeah it was really scary. I, I, didn't, I didn't know. I... Oh. I'm not the best at picking up on situations. I don't know if you've noticed that. Um... I mean, yeah, I kind of noticed that, but... I didn't think you could do anything about it. She sent you out of the room on purpose, and... She was really bad, and I don't know I, to... I knew I didn't forget something. It's, <laughs> it's not... It's, it's not. It's not important because because I I did I did. But is it? It is important because if you come to the farewell with us, there's a lot of rules, and it seems like you're prone to breaking those kinds of rules. And no, no, no. I'm and, really worried. And and she she taught me she she taught me the. The, the rule of hospitality and the, the rule of uh, you can't steal ownership and and the rule of uh, uh, it's a big word but like it means <laughs> like reciprocity yeah you know about those yeah, I know about the rules. I lived in Prismere for a few years before I came to the Material Blade. That's... I, I... I... I have a... a Feywild name. And... Yeah. I think I could be helpful to you and Sorali, but I was just really scared, because... Kettle Steam seems really powerful. Well, well, seems not going to do anything to you. And she promised, and she said that she's not, she can't do anything to you in favor. Now that she would anyway, because she promised me. She, she pinky promised me. She said she wouldn't do anything. Yeah. And, okay. and, but she said, even if she could, uh, no, even if she, even if she wanted to, she couldn't, because, it's like a whole other plane, whatever that is. So, you know, she wouldn't well, be able to. But what about when I come back to the Material Blade? But she won't do anything to me then either? No, no, because she promised. She promised? Can, okay. can, I, can I tell you a secret? Yeah. I've never had friends before. I don't, I don't really know how this is supposed to work, but I know it doesn't involve that. So, you know, that's what I, that's what I told mom. I said, don't do that to my friends. I, I didn't, I didn't like it. I've never had friends either. You're, you're my first friend. <laughs> you're my first friend. Okay. Alright, well, if you say it's safe, then we're gonna trust you, because you're my friend, okay? Yeah, yes, and, and I'll trust you. I always trust you, because you're my friend. Okay. 
I promise I'll give you an invisibility potion. I'll try to keep you safe. That's what friends are for. Okay. Let's shake on it. <laughs> okay. I mean, you don't, you don't want a pinky swear? Yeah, let's pinky swear. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I swear you're my friend and I'll look out for you. I, I swear you're my friend and uh, I'll always look out for you. Okay. Also, I don't know if you thought I was going to steal your scales and that's why you were looking at me or, or Amy, so rather, you know what I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I won't, I won't. If you don't want me to steal from you, I won't. I, I, oh, that's part of my promise. Yeah, I won't steal from you either. If I need something, I'll just ask you, okay? Okay. And you can ask me too. Okay. Also. I didn't think you were gonna steal the skills. I was just thinking about how they were similar to you. Oh! I, know, I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Okay, well... Okay. I have a lot more to say, but I feel like, you know, Serrano probably needs to hear it too. Uh, and that was the important bit. Um, okay, yeah, did I you think... Know, did you know they kill the unicorns here? <laughs> they kill unicorns? <laughs> Ah, I thought, I thought that it was cut in half! Cut in half? Yeah, in, in, the, in the room, in the tent. In Real the big the shiny tent? things? Yeah! Oh, Fluff, that was just a costume. That wasn't a real unicorn. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I don't think we kill unicorns at this circus. I've never seen any real unicorns killed. The only unicorns I've seen are costumes, and the ones that are on the carousel ride. <laughs> oh, that's good. you need to worry. We're okay. a very humane circus. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, so Raleigh's outside, uh, distracting the bugbear, so... Oh, yeah. I guess yeah. she can't come in here. Well, thanks for coming to talk to me. I really yeah. appreciate it. Now I have a friend. I've never yeah. had a friend before. <laughs> I've never, this is my first day. How am I doing? Oh, you're doing great. Well, you're doing great too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we can make Sorali our friend too. I don't know. I think we'll have to think about it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the cuteness okay. overload. <laughs> There's so much cuteness, I can't. <gasps> Sorali's just talking to the bugbear. I'm, yeah. I'm genuinely curious how annoyed the bugbear is. Um, make a... Sorali, um, when you, like... You came into this with the per intent purpose of distracting the bugbear, but once you're like, okay, Flubs is definitely in there. He's not being kicked out immediately. Like, do you genuinely try and connect with this bugbear? <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think Sorali would. Like, all of a sudden, she's like, actually, I do have a ton of questions for you. Okay, great. Make me just a general charisma check. <laughs> I'm good at those. Yeah. I'm good at those. Uh, that's, that, that's a 21. Okay. Oh shit! Let's go! Hell yeah! I'm good at those. Come on, Sorali! Sorali! <laughs> you, all of, like, as soon as Flubs is out of sight, and like, you kind of ran through your like, list of questions that you had to distract, you start just shooting the shit with this guy and he like yeah. takes off his pumpkin helmet he's like hey sorry for the for the tough exterior uh, uh my name's burly by the way 
Burley and Sorali. It's so nice to have did, your name and everything. Oh my gosh. Oh, did you, so cool. Did you win at That's the a, snail races earlier? I did! Oh, that was a hell of a race. It was so much fun. On Shelly oh, Mo? so good! Oh, she is so popular. Yeah! Oh. Well, good. Congratulations. Oh, very popular. Thanks. I'm going to say that the... It was a little overwhelming, the afterwards part. Um, there were a lot of little girls very excited that I won with Shelly Moo. It was a little overwhelming. Does that uh, happen to you? You know, uh... Like the old, like, people swarming? Oh, uh, you know, I gotta tell you, Sorali. Little girls not big fans of bugbears. But what about, like... Any swarming of people. I mean, you seem like a really great guy. I don't know why uh, people would want to come talk to you. Yeah, you know, honestly, the boss puts me out here because I'm big and scary, but I actually really like poetry. Scary! You're not scary at all! <gasps> poetry? It's kind of a hobby. I'm not very good, but... Uh, do you have one right now? Can you I know, hear it? No, I don't. I, uh... Um, that's okay. I understand. Listen, and he, like... I know, you're working on getting it perfect. I, I, I get it. I get a, I get terrible stage mm -hmm. fright. Terrible stage fright. Uh, he, like, pulls you off to the side. He's like... Yeah! Listen. Uh-huh. You ever... You ever feel like being watched mm. well I haven't had that feeling today but there are a lot of people so I guess it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if people were watching me I mean I am a purple tiefling it's kind of weird yeah I, I I respect the sentiment uh <clears throat> Do you feel like you're being watched? Well, <sighs> he he looks back at the tent again. He goes, "Say, uh, Sorali, uh, huh? you have any siblings?" I do. Fine. Well, I I had a sibling too. A twin. His name was Hurley. You had a twin. <laughs> Sorry. I was keeping it so Sorry, together. Sorry, Hurley and Hurley. Hurley and Hurley. You heard that right? The bugbears. Hurley and Hurley. <laughs> Sorry, I could not. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. Uh, what? What happened to Hurley? Well, listen, Sorali. Hurley, uh, what happened? Bad, bad things have been happening at the carnival for a while, and pe people have been go going missing. Good. Where I, are they going? I don't know. Do you... uh, Grand's daughter got stolen, and then, well, Featherine's grandmother. Right. <gasps> I think he like he really like looks in the tent for a second, and he doesn't see anyone. He goes, "Listen, I think." I think the boss is saying more than they're letting on. No. I I don't think I don't think that they have any involvement in it. I just think that they 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 know something. Mm. It's not easy to talk to them, is it? No, no. 
They're, uh... I've been hearing, I've been hearing things. Yeah, they're real intimidating, actually. Well, then, shouldn't they be the... Because you're not intimidating, so shouldn't they be watching the front of the tent? Uh, Never mind, doesn't uh, matter. Okay, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> um... Because you're really nice. I don't thanks. think you're intimidating. If I... Because I have heard some things. If I wanted... Who else should I talk to, Hurley? Well, listen, I think you need some leverage with the bosses. Do you have something in mind? Well, uh, um, <clears throat> listen, I got, the, I got, a, I got, a, I got a couple of insightful pieces of knowledge for you. Um, he has, like, slowly walked you guys as far away from the big top as possible while as he's far, still looking, far, you know, like, still doing his uh -huh. job. Uh -huh. And he's really paranoid now. He, like, keeps looking over his shoulder, and he goes, Okay. First of all, not, not a lot of people know this. Not a lot of people know this. Mr. Witch and Mr. Light not not the original owners of this carnival. Liam. Who were the original owners? Uh, no, that... I... That I don't know. That I don't know. It's been, it's been like this for a long time. A long time, Sir Ali. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. They like it here. Uh -huh. They like it a lot. In the material plane? Or just at the carnival? Uh, at the carnival. Okay. Okay, second piece of information. All right. That... That staff... That Mr. Light carries... It's not just a... Staff. It allows him to... Well, I don't know really how to explain it, but it's it's magic. It, it allows him to... I've seen him boost the mood of a crowd. And he uses it somehow to pick the Witchlight Monarch. And then... Well, that does sound magical. It's pretty magical. The other thing is Mr. Mr. Witch has a has a pocket watch. It's very precious to him. It, always on his al person? Always. Always. It allows him to set up and take down the carnival. Burly, that was a lot of good information. Don't tell anyone I told you anything, but I don't want any more people to go missing. Well, if for some reason I find Burly, I'll bring him back to you, okay? Can't miss him, he looks just like me. Good. Thank you, Burly. Puts the pumpkin helmet back on. And just as you end the conversation, flops in love that helmet. Come skipping out. Yeah, I feel like Greb and Floods are like hand in hand. Like, yes. <laughs> Oh no.
Buzz <laughs> came to get me. Uh -huh. look. Thanks again, Burly. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, Hi, Burly. Hey, Grim. Your friend's rally here. She's okay. Yeah, she's pretty cool. She led the stale race. Yeah. I'd mean, rather have a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you did really good, Flubs. I didn't, um, but you know, I, I appreciate you saying so because you're friends, so it's, it's fine. We are friends, and honestly, I only came in second because I was hanging on for dear life, so... <laughs> I think... Yeah. Oh. I think you would have done better if you were on my snail, but... Yeah, that's okay. You know... If I'm honest, if I had run, I would have tried to trade with you anyway. So. Oh, thank you, Flubs. I appreciate it. You're the best. <laughs> you, you see, you um, see. Are you sad again? Oh. He's like, oh, crap. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, hold on, hold on. And he's and yeah. he like he like goes into the big top and you just hear like a lot of like clang clang click like a lot of like, you know, people like looking through something. <laughs> and he comes out with three huge like pretty massive stuffies of each of your snails. Oh and he goes, I'm a big fan of the snail races. And he's like, here's a Shelly Moo. Oh. And here's a brave neck, and here's a high road. Oh, uh, no. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, Burly. This is <laughs> really cute. What a girl. Okay, now, uh, listen. We crowned the Witchlight Monarch in, like, a couple hours here, so... You still got a couple rides to ride! That's the plan! Yeah. Thanks, Burly! Bye! See you later. Alright, I lead them away from Big Top. <laughs> yeah. And I say, Okay, so. We, we've made a group decision. <laughs> okay? Look, look to Grab, look back to you. <laughs> you can be our friend too. <laughs> were we not friends before? I thought we were friends before. It really doesn't. It, it's been a long day. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think, I think it's official now. You, you're our friend now, Sorelli, right? Pinky swear. Pinky swear. Flubs and I already pinky sweared, so you're- Okay, I, I, will, I will pinky swear with both of them. Okay. Aww. You promise to protect us and look out for each other, right? Of course! Even in the Feywild, no matter what? Yep. Even if Heddlesteam's really scary? Yes. Okay. I'll protect you too. Okay. Excellent. We're all friends, we're all gonna protect each other. Friends. Um, You're yes. my friends! I've never yeah. had friends before! I don't know. Wow, well, we had a moment. Yeah. It sounds like it. it. Sounds like a good moment. Um, speaking of moments, I have some more information that I found out. Okay, what did wow. you learn? Let's go first. Miss, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light are not the original owners of this carnival. Oh. oh, I didn't really? know that. Oh. Apparently, Mr. Light's staff does a lot of, like, magical stuff, like getting people excited in the crowd, like it encourages a variety of different things. And then Mr. Witch's watch is very, very important. And the reason why we know that is in order for us to talk with them, we need to have some type of leverage, so I immediately look at Flubs. I think some leverage? of your... I think some... It would be very helpful if we had that watch. 
Okay. I see. Not right now. Not right. Now. Now, right. Let's, let's be, oh. let's, we'll wait for the right moment. We don't need to do it right now. I thought, uh, didn't we want to talk to the two? In order for us to talk to them, we're going to need some leverage. Otherwise, they're not going to talk to us at all. Well, yeah. they're not friends, but... No, they're not friends. Carol, consider it done. Okay. But I think we should ride some rides first. Because we're at I a think, carnival, and that's I fun. think we should also discuss our plan for the Feywild, because there's a lot of rules for the Feywild, and mm. I don't know how much has changed because of the hags that are controlling it now, but... There's also a lot of people missing. People keep uh. disappearing. People disappearing, and also, once we Please pass twin the is portal, missing. Yeah. What, friend? Yeah, Burley has a twin named Hurley. Does the twin also wear a pumpkin that's, in his head? That's what Dylan I know that said. Yeah. He's I don't good, know but... if he still wears a pumpkin on his head. I just know he looks exactly like him. Well, maybe he does wear a pumpkin on his head. <gasps> I mean, that that would be... looks exactly like him. It's a yeah, helmet, probably... Clubs. Did you know that? It's a helmet. Oh. Uh, that makes sense. You yeah. could probably find Hurley in the same place that Star is held. Uh, mm -hmm. I I want to help them. I don't I don't I think that's the, the I I want to help them. Okay. We definitely. Do that. We did make the promise to Dur Durligan to find his daughter while we were in the Feywild if we came across her, which hopefully we will. But yes. Um, do you do you guys know about the rules of Crispy? Oh, I think we'll, we should we'll talk teach about you. it. Yeah, we'll teach you. Yeah. It's okay. very important. My mom told, really told me it's very important to know about this year. Um, I used to live there a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And, um, so you should be using a different name from your real name. Amy. Oh, I did hear that. That's why My I mom... suggested Amy. Oh, Amy. Amy is mm -hmm. your Short for Amethyst. Day? Yeah. Amethyst. Ooh, that's a very good Amethyst name. is harder to say, so I said I thought Amy was. Oh. I like Amy. Mm -hmm. So Amethyst is for Sarali. Wait, let me write this down so I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I can also um. remind you too. <laughs> <laughs> I like keeping track of my notes though. Um, okay. So, so Raleigh is Amethyst. And or then, Amy. Or Amy. Amethyst short for Amy. And then... What is your, what is your name gonna be? So my mom... My, I, I originally was born in the Feywild. Um, and my mom gave me the Feywild name of Gift. Oh. Yeah. So, so Gift is my Feywild name. So when we're there, you can call me Gift. Make sure to not stay grand because uh, that could be bad news. And what about you, Flux? Well... I'm beginning to think that my Feywild name is Flubs, actually. Oh! That's cool. Oh. Is yeah. Flubs not your real name? Apparently not. Apparently I chose it. I don't know why I chose Flubs, but... Oh. Would Flubs not be your real name then if you chose it, though? Say again? If you chose your name, would that not be your true name? I... I don't know. I feel like maybe we should pick another name, just in case you because okay. I don't want anything bad happening to you because you're my friend. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well... Um... Hmm. 
I know nothing. Play about me. Um. Well, it could be a twist on flubs. Like we could call you flubs or flobs. I feel like if it's oh. too similar, you know, you might get confused. So, oh, maybe. Yeah. How about, like, maybe same letter? So, how about, like, like, feast? How about feast? Feast? That's a pretty cool name. So, you'll be known as Feast in the thing. Okay. Just you, you did, you did have a, a cupcake feast. So that does make sense. Oh, yes. Dogs. And some chili. Good at <laughs> some ice cream. <laughs> Caramel <laughs> apple. Hot dogs. Custard, corn dogs. Custard. No, what'd you have today? Dogs. What'd you have today, Patrick? Cupcake, a pizza, <laughs> chicken. No, today. <laughs> chicken, a pizza. Okay, so we have Amy, feast, yeah. and gift. Gift. Okay. So, we can't say each other's real names when we're in the thing well, but while we're still at the circus, I think it's okay. 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 So now, our goal is to steal Mr. Witch's pocket watch, so that we can- It's probably gonna be easier than the staff. Yeah, the pocket watch would be smaller, and... Flubs is pretty good at stealing things. So maybe, mm -hmm. maybe right before um, okay. the big top show, we could try to steal it from him. Oh. Maybe, maybe we and Sorale could be a distraction while Flux tries to take the watch. Yeah, that worked really well, by the way. You did a mm -hmm. good job. Thanks. He um, was really we were, nice. Apparently, people say he's intimidating. I don't get yeah. it. Apparently. I yeah. Yeah. You know, wow, it's, it's scary. Yeah. Well, He's Mr. Really Witch nice. and Mr. Light are pretty scary. Um, but maybe we would have a better chance with with me being an employee. Um, maybe I could try to talk to them about something circus related. And you oh. could, Flans could sneak up. And try to take the pocket watch while they're distracted. Um, and we want to do that before the big top extravaganza or after? Maybe right before the big top. Um, well, because doesn't Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, aren't they involved with the big top extravaganza? Well, I know Mr. Light is. I don't know about Mr. Witch. Mr. Witch is more in charge of moving this. Mm -hmm. That's what the pocket watch does. Yes, exactly. Mr. Witch is more in t his his job is more with the show. Mr. Mm. Mr. Witch is more about like the administrative, like moving side of it, making mm -hmm. sure there's no chaos and disorder happening. So I think. Maybe Probably. we cause some chaos and disorder, and they'll dry them out. Oh, we could. Or, if one of us <laughs> won the... the Witchlight prize, uh, we could probably get close to one of them to steal something as well. So... Um, I think usually when someone wins a lot of the prizes, like... with... Um, the custard eating contest and the stale race. Um, each of us have won something so far. Um, I helped out with the dragonfly mm -hmm. issue. Um, but maybe if we could get Flubs to, or one of us to win the, the Witchlight Monarch position, we could distract. Mr. Witch and Mr. Light enough so that someone could steal something from them. So that we could bargain with them. It makes me a little nervous because they're pretty powerful and have very wild connections also, so... Um, 
I would trust you guys to make sure that nothing bad happens. Think we'll figure it out. And I'll try to help you as well. Mm hmm. Um, I have some potions and some some things at my disposal that I could help to to use. Cool. Weren't you uh, battle like the dragonfly or something? But didn't we didn't we talk about something that you were gonna bring up to them? Like a a, a proposed business thing? Oh yes, I was gonna maybe propose that that they that they consider buying my my calming potion. Right, the for, the, for the dragonflies. For the uh, dragonflies, yes. Uh, so maybe I could approach them about that, and then mm -hmm. maybe Fluffs and Survive can sneak up and try to take something from them. Uh -huh. To use as leverage. Either way, it's pretty scary, so hopefully... I mean, I'll do my best. Maybe, Sorali, you seem to be better at talking to people, so maybe you could help me talk to them. Sure. And then Flubs is pretty sneaky, so maybe Flubs could try to to take the pocket watch or the staff, uh -huh. whichever would be easier. And then hopefully they won't yell at me, and then we could try to find out the password which rhymes and get to the Feywild, and then say, <laughs> this is a builder. And that. AKA Surround. AKA, not Surround. Uh, Tasha. <laughs> uh, Sorati. Yeah. Oh, wow, I did I get that powerful? <laughs> um, Does that mean I great. level up to level 20? <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! I tried so hard. Um, uh, for maybe. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> but we maybe. need to find out. We need to ask them what the 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 rhyme is. For the password and where the portal is, so we can go. Well, maybe we can find some more Baywatch. information and all the other rights. Uh, well, I yeah. think if we keep doing well with certain contests and rides and things, mm -hmm. I think one of us could become the monarch yeah. for the carnival, which would be really helpful. Maybe yeah. if we if we take the watch before the big tap, and then one of us wins the monarch. Then maybe that's our end to like a private conversation, which we can then do the we do the talking. We like, oh, we got the watch. Let's do what we say. <laughs> that's a great Something. idea, Flubs. Thanks. Yes, I agree. Okay, so we've done the snail racing. We've done the dragonfly ride. Um, done the swans. We haven't done. The In Lost Hall of Illusions or the Mystery Mine yet, or the Bubble Pop Teapot, or the Pixie Kingdom, or the Pixie Kingdom. Oh. Um, we are pretty close to the Hall of Illusions, so um, maybe we could check that out real quick and then maybe go down to the Mystery Mine. Sure. I don't. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, let's go to the Hall of Illusions first. Bottoms will still be together. Yeah. Alright. How are we feeling, gang? I'm... Petering yeah. pretty quick. Okay. <laughs> Great stopping That's point. Stopping. Yeah. Yeah. Good stopping point. <laughs> Let's pause there. Good sesh. Good sesh. Roleplay. So Yay! Good.